Hello. What's up? What's up? Hey, girls. <gasps> the hell? My headset is, is uh, doing something weird. <laughs> hey, Warrior. Hello. How are we doing? So they announced Dragonflight this year. Interesting. And no alpha announced or beta or anything. Huh. Man, I'm wearing these shorts and they're so uncomfortable to sit in. Oh. I wish uh, women clothes would be made to be more comfortable. <laughs> Dude. Maybe. Okay, I'll give those shorts 30 minutes and then I'll put on sweatpants. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, fuck it, I'll do it now. We're back. Much better. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's one of the many reasons why I don't wear women's clothing anymore. <laughs> Too uncomfortable. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, this go live picture was way better than this. <laughs> My bad. Maybe I should uh, improvise the thumbnail every time. Alright. Have you guys ordered Dragonflight already? I had some insider info about... The collector's edition being on sale. I'm not buying a collector's edition though. What do you get from that? I never buy a collector's edition. Sometimes they gift it to me. Which is nice. But... Oh wait, if you buy the collector's edition, you get a boost? Hmm... What, what kind of class could I boost? Oh, the, the boost is always there? Oh, okay. I boosted a demon at the last time, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm missing a girl at the age. I true. I remember how everyone was making fun of me for boosting a demon hunter, because demon hunter was only like five levels or something, because it already starts with high level. <laughs> People don't understand just how much I hate leveling. <laughs> they don't get it. <laughs> Dragon Blood releasing this year fucks up my whole schedule. I still. I still have so many characters. <laughs> you think Dragonflight will actually release in 2022 or will it be delayed? I have no idea, honestly. I don't know. I also don't really care. I mean, it's different for me because my life revolves around the game anyway. So it's not that... It's not that I'm gonna make plans or something and then, you know, it's not like I'm gonna take a week off work to play Dragonflight and then it's delayed. You know what I mean? 
So to me, it doesn't really matter if it releases the 1st of December, the 1st of J January or whatever. I would technically love it to not release over Christmas, because that's messed up. Because Christmas is like the, old, the one and only holiday in the year that I actually care about. <laughs> so I hate it when they release stuff over Christmas, because I want to uh, do other things, you know? One, once in the year, I want to do other things. <laughs> and if they're actually going to release it in 2022, then it would probably be a December release, right? Um, but they do care about the holidays as well. Like, it's not that they're going to release the game on Christmas. So it would probably be before Christmas. And then it sucks if the raid is going to be over Christmas. It's like, ugh. Yeah, I don't know. I would much prefer it actually releasing in January. If it's November, well, even November would be kind of shitty. Because then the race to will first is in December. Thanks for 11 months, I would appreciate that. Yeah, because it... It was, they released, what was it again? Uh, Final Fantasy XIV expansion was released early December. And then the race was kind of in, during Christmas. I guess it's weird. I don't like it. Castle Nathalie was also December prog. Yeah, true. And the race of all first was still like online, casted online, so it wasn't even. It was bad. It wasn't, but it wasn't that bad. For me, I mean specifically for me for casting, because progression itself. We raid three days a week. It's kind of whatever. It's not that bad, but if you have to cast the race of all first, which is like casting seven days a week, that's the annoying part. And I could just not cast it technically, but. Doesn't happen that often, so. <laughs> I think they just want to pre order money now and they will do the game. Isn't ready, we need more time. Well, but uh, yeah, so I heard some people say that, that they want to the pre order money now, but. Why would that make a difference? Like, if they say, hey, we released the game on like January why would people not pre-order then already now you know what I mean they can just say hey we dragonfly comes out in January pre-order now and then people will still pre-order right so I don't think the money thing makes sense <clears throat> boost the end of second quarter numbers yeah but still that's the same argument because even if they say the game comes out in february 2023 if you can pre-order now people would still pre-order now like they don't have to say it comes out this year for people to pre-order is what my argument is The only thing that makes sense, in my opinion, is that they want to, they want, they actually want to release the game this year. Like this, it wouldn't make any sense for them to lie, like to knowingly lie about the date. If anything, they want it to be released this year for shareholder stuff. So it's still within this year, right? But then they would also have to release it this year. They can't just say, oh, we release it this year, and then they don't. Because that wouldn't actually help them then. That would do nothing for them. I'm assuming hype of a release this year will increase steps right now as well. Plus this year sounds a lot better than January of next year. Uh, no, I don't buy that. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't buy that. 
Because t- to a normal human being that doesn't care about... Like, to, to a player, I don't think there's a big difference at all if it releases on the 1st of January 2023 or 30th of December 2022. Right? To us players, that is the same thing. For the only people it does matter is for, like, financial stuff, right? Quarterly stuff. Do you think the expansion can be ready for this year? I mean, I think so, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not... I definitely think it's possible for them to release this year. I don't think it's uh, completely uh, impossible. And again, I don't think they would... I don't think they would announce it to be this year if they are certain that they cannot release it this year. Like, why would... That just makes no sense. Like, they're not going to knowingly lie about a release date. Because I don't think it will... Like, it gains them anything. Like, there's just no gain. At least no logical gain that I can think of. It would matter a lot to players if it released December 20 and they could play on winter break. Yeah, no, 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 you're right. Like, it definitely, I, I guess the, the dates that I chose were were a bit, uh, like, what I basically was trying to say, it doesn't necessarily matter to players if it releases this year or early next year. Unless you want to play during holidays, then you would prefer it to be in December. Otherwise, you don't necessarily care. I understand, like, the holiday kind of thing, right? But that's, like, the only gain. It's not necessarily that people care much about which year it is. Because, to, to me, it also is the same thing as June versus July, right? Like, if the game releases in June or July, it's just, like, it doesn't matter to me. And December, January is also just the same. It's like one month or the other month. There is a year in between, but to a player, it doesn't matter. Is what I'm trying to say, right? The problem with Shadowlands was not enough testing. People knew that non solvable covenants were bad super early, but they refused to pull the cord. No, I disagree. I don't think... I don't think the problem with... Covenants was not enough testing. There was enough testing, they just disagreed with the feedback. And that is... Like, that is something that just happens, you know? Sometimes you can get all the feedback in the world, and if you just disagree, you disagree. Because in the end, it's an opinion-based thing. You don't know exactly. Uh, <laughs> like you just, if you if you are under the firm uh, opinion that something is going to be better, then feedback or whatever telling you otherwise is not going to change it. No matter how much testing there is, and no matter how long you're testing it for, right? So I don't think it was the lack of testing that caused covenants to not be swappable. That was mainly just them disagreeing with the feedback, right? Gamers should know that December 31st is nearly always a placeholder date. I mean, obviously it's a placeholder date, right? They're not going to release the game at 31st of December. And we know that. That's not what, that's not what people are talking about, though. People are not concerned about the game being released on the 31st of December. People are surprised that it's going to be released this year because that's what they're claiming. They're saying it's going to be released before December 31st. No matter when it's when it is, right? It could be November, it could be October, it could be early December, you know, like that they didn't announce that. Hmm. 
<laughs> and I mean, if you, if you logically think about it, um, like if you would be arguing for an early release date. So if you, if you're not sure if they would actually want to release it this year or not, or if they could release it this year or not, the one thing that I think makes sense in favor of them releasing it this year is the fact that Shadowlands had such few patches and just generally no content. Well, I don't want to say no content, but very little content. Uh, thanks for 31 months released to you and I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So what technically could have happened is that Shadowlands released, then COVID happened, right? And then it took them forever to create 9.1 and the general player base was incredibly unhappy, right? I think when 9.1 released and even before 9.1 released, those couple of months, people were incredibly unhappy, people stopped playing, people hated it and so on, right? And then maybe what happened was that Blizzard was like, okay, listen, uh, we switched to like working from home stuff and we didn't manage to, like we don't manage to get the content out for Shadowlands. Like the, the time frame has shifted obviously because 9.1 was supposed to be released a lot earlier, right? But then they released, it was pushed because it was just not ready and then it was pushed and then afterwards 9.2 came out and they they probably decided, even though they're saying otherwise, they probably decided to scrap 9.3 because they're saying it was never planned, which is 100% a lie, okay? 9.3 100% was planned, <laughs> at least when they were planning the expansion. It's possible that they decided early on that 9.3 is not going to happen, but it definitely was planned at the start of Shadowlands. But yeah, anyway, so once they pushed 9.1, they probably said, okay, you know what? We don't have time to even do 9.3 because 9.1 was delayed. That means 9.2 is going to be delayed. And then people want a new expansion, right? People hate Shadowlands. Well, they don't hate it, but the general uh, happiness of the player base in Shadowlands is just like bad. So they decided, you know, why waste time creating 9.3? When people are generally just not happy with Shadowlands, let's just put our effort into into Dragonflight, right? And then we get this like season four thing where it's not a full content patch, obviously, season four, but they're just trying some stuff anyway, and it's probably less effort for them to do it this way because they don't have to create a whole new raid, they don't have to create uh, like anything else, so they just put old raids with affixes, which obviously takes them less time developer time right so the developers can work on dragonflight and it makes sense that that would mean that they're already pretty far along with dragonflight considering they decided early on that shadowland they, they just give up on shadowlands basically they could have they, after 9.1 they were probably just like fuck shadowlands we're working on dragonflight you know and if that's actually what happened which is pretty likely, then it technically could be pretty far along, right? Thanks for 31, release the demo, what's up, what's up? They probably push it to first quarter of 2023. Well, but they can't really, like when, when they, They cannot, like, it, yes, the 31st of December is a placeholder date, but they said it's going to be before. You can't just announce a placeholder date and say it's before that and then say, oh, it's after anyway. Like, that, that would, then they wouldn't have announced it at all. Like, why would they say it's in 2022? And then all of a sudden they're like, ah, oh, actually, you know, it's not. You know what I mean? Because then they would have just not said it. If they... 
Yeah, they said 31st of December or before. They didn't say 31st of December or before or after, right? <laughs> Thanks for 35 months, Kara. What's up? I mean, sure, they can push the date, right? Obviously. Like, it's, it's not that they completely cannot push the date at all. But if they would push the date, then obviously that's going to be a problem for them. Free PR that they're listening to the community and having more time to fix things. I don't think that is positive PR when they push the date. That is negative PR. Like, you know what I'm saying, right? Like, if they think that they cannot release the day, the game before 2023, like if that's what they think, then it makes absolutely no sense for them to say so. Like they would not purposefully lie because it's only negative PR if they push the date. They did push Shadowlands and that was also really negative. So why would they purposefully do that? That's, I'm just like thinking logically here, right? I'm not saying that they won't. Because it's very possible that some higher ups are like pushing, you know, everyone to say, we have to release it this year. We have to, we have to, we have to. And then afterwards it turns out they can't, you know, but that doesn't mean that they're not trying if they are going to announce it. Like I'm 100% certain that they're going to actually try to release it 2022 if they say so. They're not just going to like knowingly lie and then be like, oh, we're just going to push it, whatever, you know, we're just going to lie about it. <laughs> like, that just makes no sense. <laughs> hey, still back. Yeah, it's definitely, it's very likely a decision made by higher ups and they just put a date and said we want it to be released this year because we want that, right? But yeah, that doesn't mean that they are not going to try. Obviously, they're going to try, right? They like to lie, though. Uh, not, not, they don't like to lie if it's going to be an obvious negative outcome. Because you can, you can lie, and they have done that, in my opinion at least. We don't know for certain. But usually they lie if it's something that is not provable to be a lie, right? Like, for example, when they said 9.3 was never planned. That is something that we as players will never actually know. So I believe they have lied when they said that. But that doesn't mean that I can prove that. <laughs> so, but if they say we're going to release Dragonflight in 2022, and then it gets released in April 2023, well, then they clearly fucking lied, right? <laughs> And that's going to be incredibly negative PR. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. I do think it's, it's possible that they're going to have to push the date to 2023. Like, that is very possible. All I'm saying is that they don't want to push it. Did he just come in here, say, Nagura, you up for joining me for my key, Sanguine Depths plus 19? And then 10 seconds later, after I didn't reply, you said, Nagura, I asked you a question? <laughs> Calm down, sir, yeah? Calm down. <laughs> We're talking right now. <laughs> Maybe they're further with their development as than we all think. I mean, I think so. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think it's very possible that they're further along than what people think. I mean, to be fair, I don't think anything. Like, I don't have a single clue how far they are. And I'm also not, uh... Like, the only thing I know is that we don't have alpha yet. 
and they also have an announced alpha. That's all I know. And that is definitely a little bit worrying because they released Shadowlands Alpha in April 2020 and the game came out in November, right? So if they want to release the game in November, December, and now it's end of June and they have not announced Alpha, which is definitely... Like, Alpha is for sure behind schedule if they want to release the game end of this year. Now, does that mean that the game is going to be bad or it's going to be unfinished? No, not necessarily, right? It can just technically mean maybe they just don't care about testing as much this time around from, like, the public player base, right? Or maybe they're quicker with stuff, you know, like... It's all possible. There are way less systems in the new patch. I mean, a lot of people... <laughs> I don't agree with this argument when people say, oh, there's much less balancing to be done, much less testing um, needs to be done because there's less systems. I, I disagree with that. Because it doesn't matter how many systems you have in a patch, the test... There's so many things to test anyway. Because there's still a million new zones. There's still, like, the talent system that needs to be tested. There's still going to be, like, the new flying that needs to be tested, the flying system, right? Uh, the, new, uh, the new, like, renowned system that they have for reputation. Like, there's so many things they have to test. This whole argument of, oh, there's less stuff. I don't think that is true. <laughs> there's not going to be less stuff. It's just less systems. But that doesn't mean that there needs to be less testing. Like, that argument I don't agree with. But it's still possible that they require less testing for other reasons. Like, what I'm thinking is um, maybe they have somehow optimized the way they can do internal testing. Maybe there's like a bunch of stuff that the, they don't want the public feedback from. Or maybe they thought that last time beta and alpha just lasted too long and it wasn't really like valuable information anymore that they've gotten after a couple of months. Because that is sometimes what happens, right? Sometimes beta gets released, alpha gets released, and people like really want to go and test stuff. And then after a couple of weeks, no one's testing anything anymore, or like very few people are testing because, you know, they just don't want to test anymore, right? So that is also just a possibility that they figured, oh, last time we did alpha and beta for six months, and after two months we got no val or we got barely any valuable information anymore, so it was kind of whatever. So maybe they just decided they're going to do it differently now. You know, like, I'm not, I'm not saying this is true. I'm just uh, giving theoretical reasons on why they would uh, have alpha or beta be less long. Now, publishing the other talent trees early for feedback, like they did for Druid and DK, doesn't really convince me to think that they are super deep into development. That is another thing that, yeah, that is another thing that I was thinking about as well, because they have said they're going to release the talents before Alpha, and we only have DK and Druids, and nothing else. So is Alpha going to be that far away that they still want to release all the talent builds before Alpha? Or do they decide... Did they decide that the feedback that they got from Druid and DK was not necessarily really good or valuable? So they just, instead of releasing more talent trees, they're just going to release Alpha? You know, I don't know. Because I do think, I do think the amount of feedback you can give from the talent trees alone is a little bit limited. Because I looked at the Druid tree... And a lot of the abilities that they added or changed are, like, I can look at them, but without being able to test them, I cannot give much feedback about it. I could give a lot of feedback on the druid tree, like the class tree. I think the class tree, you can give a lot of feedback on because it's made up with a lot of abilities that we already have in the game. That is mainly like utility and defensives, which is which is good, right? 
But the spec specific trees, they have a lot more to do with numbers. Because certain talents, you just choose them because they're just theory craft to be better. Like you just do the math and it turns out this is better, right? So I do think the spec specific talent trees are really, really hard to give feedback on if you're not actually testing them in game. While the druid, like the, the class tree, they are fine. Um, so maybe if they would just release the class trees for all classes, that would, like before alpha, maybe that would be a lot better. Because the spec specific talents, I don't know, like I don't think you can give that much feedback on it, really. Uh, but if you guys remember, when they released Alpha the last time in Shadowlands, not all classes were available either. So, I mean, technically it's possible that they release Alpha and you can only play Druid and DK. <laughs> and then they release the talent trees and then they add those classes to the Alpha. I don't know, you know, I have no idea. Yeah, I think so as well, Durst, yeah. But yeah, the only thing that I thought was a bit backwards with the talent trees, and I hope that is getting... Like... I am really concerned about them doing the talent trees first before they rework certain spells that people have been very unhappy with. Because usually when a new expansion comes out, a lot of specs kind of get reworks that were like basically not working out well, right? Like for example, Moonkin and Shadowlands had Starfall reworked, uh, had this whole Eclipse system added and so on, right? So Moonkin's, the Moonkin kit kind of got a base rework before it got released uh, on Alpha. But now what they do, did this time is they gave us the talent trees without any class rework at all, seemingly. Like seemingly all of the spells for Druid still work the exact same on Dragonflight and we got the talent system, which I, I think that is definitely really weird. Because if there's certain spells and abilities and basic rotation things that people don't like throughout Shadowlands, then they should rework those first and then do the talent tree, right? So I I don't know how because if they if they do the talent tree first and then they rework certain spells that are baseline spells, then all of a sudden the talent tree maybe is not good anymore. Like, maybe you need different talents or different positions or whatever, right? So that is... Uh, I don't understand. Unless they really don't want to rework any classes at all. Maybe they decided we are not going to do any reworks and we're just going to change the talent, uh, change the classes through talents. Which I don't like that at all. Because, yeah, the, ta the talent trees are really, really nice. But if there's something in your basic kit that is bad, then the talents are not going to change that, right? Because the very good example is obviously Starfall. All the Moonkins hate the fact that Starfall doesn't stack. This Shadowlands version of Starfall, they hate it, right? And we have been bagging for them to rework Starfall, to make it stack, or to give us a different ability, or whatever, right? And they don't, they haven't changed it. In the talent trees, you can clearly see that Starfall is still gonna be um, not stackable, and that Stellar Drift is still gonna give it a cooldown. So... I 
think they think that the talent tree is the rework. Yeah, and I, I don't like that. Because there certainly are classes that have base kit problems, right? Where just like, your basic abilities require a rework or should be reworked. But yeah, we'll see. I mean, that's the only thing I'm pretty concerned about. Everything else, I don't really think that's going to be a big issue, honestly. Um, I think they can... I think they can release it this year if they want to. One, one more thing, yeah, actually... Well, one thing that is actually a really valid point, though... Um, is the fact that uh, Shadowlands and also BFA... I think required a lot of not only dev time for the expansion release, but already for like later weeks and smaller patches. You know what I mean? Because when Shadowlands came out, we had the Covenants. And then we additionally also had Renown and we had the Legendaries and all that. And they had to basically design the release of the game but then they also had to kind of design things already for the future with the renown stuff right because clearly the way the Rena renown worked was that you're kind of progressing through this like system and you get you keep getting borrowed power and whatever as you go uh, with the new conduits and whatever and that probably took them time where you have to initially design the whole expansion for release and you have to design things for later dates as well, not just for the start. And I think uh, if they're not going to have a borrow power system like they have they had in Shadowlands and BFA and whatever, I think at least that falls away. They don't have to think about that. Because when, when Dragonfly gets released, um, the only thing that is going to change later on is like the tier sets that we get from the raids, right? Because once you're max level in Dragonflight, you're going to have everything already from the start. You're going to have your talents and that's it. <laughs> There's nothing else, right? You're not progressing through any systems or whatever. So I guess um that might mean that they have to put less time and effort into some of the developing stuff at least <laughs> but yeah, honestly, like I personally really just don't care at all. In fact, it would be better, like, the earlier it releases, the better it is for me as, like, a streamer. Because I want the content to be here earlier, right? The less content drops there are, the better for me. Uh, but I also don't necessarily care that much about it. If they want to, if, if they would push it to January, so be it. You know, I'm... Um, all I want is the game to be good. And if they can release a good game this year already, well, then good. Right? And some people are like super concerned that the game is going to be rushed or whatnot. Uh, and I get that. Like, I get the concern. But uh, I have a feeling that Blizzard. Not that they. Not that you can trust Blizzard or anything to release a good game. But I do think that they had a pretty big, like, kind of setback 
with how Shadowlands worked out for them. Especially throughout the expansion with the patches not working out and whatever, because Shadowlands itself sold pretty well. Right? The expansion sold well. Uh, but then the interest in the game went down pretty drastically, I would say, throughout the expansion. And I do think that that's probably, like, they probably care about that, right? Obviously, because they make less money if people stop playing. <laughs> so if, if they thought that last time um, they rushed it and they would have had a much better game if, they, if it would take them longer, then I guess they might consider it this time. So if they think they can release it early, then so be it, you know? Because there's nothing we can do about it anyway. Because <laughs> in the end, no matter when they release the game, there would always be things to work on, I think. Like, they could release the game in 2025 and it could still be a shit game, you know? It <laughs> Sometimes it just depends on um, certain like viewpoints and how they think the game is good. Because, th like, the thing with the Covenants, right? I don't think Covenants were generally a bad idea. It was just a bad idea that they're not swappable, right? And it just didn't work out. But they were under the firm opinion that it does work out. Like, they thought Covenants not being swappable is a good idea. They, ha they thought that, right? No matter how, what other people said, they thought them not being swappable is a good idea. So even if they would have delayed Shadowlands by another year, the Covenant still wouldn't have been swappable. Right? If you think about it. <laughs> so in the end, it just depends on what game they envision and what they're gonna release. No matter how long it's gonna take them. Because when they release Shadowlands, it's not that the game was like incredibly buggy and um, there were bugs, right? But it's not that it was unfinished. In my opinion, at least. Like, I don't think the game was necessarily unfinished. It's just like parts of the game were like we just disliked parts of the game. And no matter how much time you give them, that can always happen. Right? So this kind of unfinished argument or the rushing argument I think doesn't really apply. It was definitely unfinished, unpolished. But what exactly was unfinished? Like, what do you think was, was unfinished? The Ma? But why? In my opinion, the Ma was exactly what they wanted it to be. Literally gated to five minutes of game. Yeah, again, you, you have to understand the difference between an unfinished product and something that you just dislike. Like, if you just thought that the way the mall worked out was bad, like with the eye and whatever, that you only have a certain amount of time to go through and whatnot, then I totally understand. But that has nothing to do with it being unfinished, right? That just means that you disliked the ma, the way it was set out to work. And yeah, I'm not saying that your opinion is like invalid, because I, <laughs> there's lots of things I disliked about Shadowlands as well, but that doesn't mean it's unfinished. It just, might just mean that they thought it was a good idea, and then it just wasn't, right? <laughs> the man was advertised as a roguelike experience that would change and develop. Wasn't that Torghast that they advertised as such? That was not the Ma. But yeah, so that, that's why I'm saying... Because there was definitely stuff that felt unfinished in Shadowlands, but I, I felt like it was more the patches afterwards. 
Like I felt like it was more 9.1 that felt really... And 9.1, if you think about it, also didn't really feel unfinished because Corthia... I think Corthia itself didn't feel unfinished. Right? It didn't feel like there was stuff missing. It would. It just felt like there was not enough and the things that were there were just bad. In my opinion, at least. I didn't really feel like it felt necessarily unfinished in a sense. There was just not enough stuff and also just bad stuff. Right? But maybe 9.1 wouldn't have been that bad if they would have just released it earlier. Like if 9.1 would have come out three months before or two months before, then maybe people wouldn't even have been that mad about it. But yeah, the, the point that I'm trying to make is <laughs> Dragonflight releasing in 2022 is not a sign that the expansion is going to be bad, in my opinion, at all. Like, I don't think that's going to mean the expansion is bad. Because that totally depends on what they think works and doesn't work. Because even if they, it's going to take them five years to release an expansion, that does not mean it's good. Like, more time does not equal good. In my opinion. I think it will be better with Microsoft. Absolutely not. <laughs> I think, I think the whole Microsoft thing is not gonna change anything really, other than the outlook of some of the people. Like some people think the savior is gonna come in and make the game good again, and it's gonna change the way they perceive. Wow, and maybe move it more to a positive outlook rather than the negative one that we have right now. Because that actually does matter a lot. <laughs> Sometimes you can be very manipulated by your prejudice against like the companies. Like for example, Square Enix. Square Enix is viewed as this like really awesome company, this really nice company that does no wrong, right? And sometimes Square Enix can do something that maybe is really bad, but people still don't perceive it as bad because they have a good opinion of the company. When Blizzard does the same thing, they will get very negative feedback. Because <laughs> you sometimes get manipulated by your... Just, just by your thoughts. So you're not looking at the product itself. You're not objectively judging the product. You get influenced by your emotions towards whoever is uh, creating the product. So I do think that when Microsoft buys the company, that kind of negative opinion that people have might get might change or at least new be neutral again. Because right now the opinion that people have against or at Blizzard is like very very negative, and the whole Microsoft thing might make it neutral again. To have like a, a clean slate kind of thing, right? And that might help. I don't think, like, even though I personally disagree. I personally don't think that Max is going to do anything that is going to be better or make anything positive. Because the way this works is that Microsoft takes the company, like they're just buying the company. They're not going to change the developers. They're not going to change everyone that's working at the company. They're basically... <laughs> they basically just take the whole thing and put it into their company. Like, they just take it all, you know, and move it. It's not that they're gonna, like, destroy everything and rebuild it. Right? It's just the same thing with a different name. So that doesn't at all mean that it's gonna be better. Or worse. I mean, it means nothing. It could be the same, it could be better, it could be worse, who knows? Like, it's, it's not gonna mean anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And for people that think Microsoft is like a good and nice company, I mean, I, uh, I don't know about that one. I think Microsoft is just as bad as any other huge corporation is. All right, vault time. Let's see him. Oh, that does not look good. Oh, 285 ring though. 285, that's a big ring. I guess we take that. Oh, oops. Sorry, I didn't even show you. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Other than that, it's really bad. Don't worry about it. We have another vault on my, on my warlock. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fake vault. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a sworn in your opinion? Do we have any info on this? I mean, S4 is definitely going to happen. Yeah, season four is 100% going to happen. Uh, probably end of July, on f earlier August. If Blizzard won't listen to their customers, what will the extra time do for the player experience? Better colors in a new dungeon? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's my point. That's exactly my point. I think by unfinished, people mean the amount of features that were added later, like they did since Legion, to make it more alt-friendly, for instance. Um, yeah, but that is that is a decision they made. That is that is not like if that is literally like that is a choice. I think like the way they designed Shadowlands and BFA and Legion, those three expansions, they chose to add features later on. That, that, that's how they wanted to design the expansion. I don't think that was a, a thing they did because of time restraints. That is something they chose to do like that. And now in Dragonflight, they don't want to do it that way anymore, right? They said that. They said that they changed their philosophy completely. They don't want any borrow power system anymore that goes throughout the expansion. They don't want, they want the alt friendliness stuff to be in there at the start and so on and so on. And I mean, I, I believe they're going to try because, uh, <laughs> because yeah, I don't know. Why would they, why would they? Because they already showed that they kind of do that since 9.2, was it 9.1.5? 9.2.5, whatever. Like there was a patch where they changed a bunch of stuff that people have asked for. And ever since then, they kind of tried to do things a bit more like people wanted them to. And now they obviously have to, oh my God, that's a cloak. I don't want that. <laughs> Two. Well, I guess we take this. Ooh, maybe I can get the socket now. Nice ball. Thank you. How many coins do I have? Five! Fuck! Isn't that socket six? Ha! <laughs> oh, five coins. Welcome to the eternal city. <laughs> well, fuck. Look at that horse noise. It's only 27 though. But yeah, in the end, uh, <laughs> in the end, speculating around the release day or whatever, it's like, and how, how if, they're, if they're gonna do a good product or not, it's kind of whatever, in my opinion. 
some people, I guess, are worried. Like, some people wouldn't want to spend the money on Dragonflight until they see it's, like, a good product or whatever. And that is 100% justified and fine. But the one thing that I think is really relevant is that you don't have to buy Dragonflight right now. Like, you just, you just really don't have to, right? You can even wait. Like, if, you, if you're super concerned about the expansion not being good, then you don't have to buy the expansion until it ex actually releases. Like, you can, you can literally wait until it releases. Because the way World of Warcraft is made right now is that you're never gonna be forever behind anymore. Because in the past... In the past, it was true that if you didn't play from the start of the expansion, you were kind of behind. And that's why people felt the need to, to start playing from the release onwards. Right? People... And that's how MMOs worked in general. If you didn't play at the very start of Burning Crusade, you were probably behind if you started like two months later. But the thing is, that's not how WoW works anymore. If you want to start five months into the expansion, you're going to be just fine. Like, you're going to have a pretty easy time catching up. It's not You're not going to snap a finger and catch up, but uh, you're still going to have a much easier time catching up. It's not going to take you forever. So you can literally wait until the expansion releases, see if you like it or not, and then maybe buy it then. Or buy it a year into the expansion, too. Or <laughs> buy it, like, three months into the expansion or whatever, you know? Like, you can... If you're really concerned about your money, you can just wait. Or maybe you wait until beta gets released, and then you look at some streamers playing beta, see if you like it. I don't know. Like, I just think there's going to be enough time. <laughs> hey, Microsoft streamer benefits, as always. Oh, you're sick with COVID tibbles? Shit, I hope you feel better soon. I thought about logging into WoW again, but then I thought, well, I won't get anything done in a week, so why bother? <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Well, to be fair... Like, I totally understand the sentiment, but in the end... Um, everything you do in an MMO, generally, is just like... In a month, it's not gonna mean anything anymore, or like half a year, right? Like, technically, you could say, oh, why even play right now? Because Dragonflight is gonna come out and then nothing means anything anymore anyway, right? So technically you should always just play for in the moment, right? And I know that that's not easy in an MMO, because sometimes you can't just log on and play your favorite part of the game. Sometimes you need to log on and do some dailies first and uh, unlock your legendaries or whatever, right? So it feels like you have to do some chores before you can properly play the game. And that does suck, but uh, they definitely have reduced them quite a bit nowadays, I think. Like, the amount of chores you have to do now is pretty small compared to how it used to be. Like, the start of Shadowlands, you just did chores all day, and it was the worst. But nowadays, there's nothing you really have to do, as long as you have it already. At least you only have to do it once, right? Like, you still have to unlock your... Like, you have to uh, get your set, you have to get your legendaries, and blah blah blah, right? But once you have them, at least you're kind of done. Did you lock at gear into- I mean, this character that I'm playing here, my warlock, um, also got geared really fast, and I also have not raided at all, other than- I did one single heroic raid, I didn't even click kill all bosses. And... Yeah, I mean, I'm 277 item level, right? Obviously, there's still some slots I could improve on a lot, but... Overall, my item level is pretty good, <laughs> considering that I only played in plus and nothing else. I think there's gonna be higher item level legendaries in season four. And I kind of wanted them to not do that. But then at the same time, they kind of have to increase the item level again from the legendaries, considering that they're only 20, 2, 291 item level. 
And the new item level from season 4 is going to go up to 311, I think. So it would feel really shitty if your legendary is 291 and the highest item level is 311, right? So they kind of have to increase it. Maybe, well, yeah, I don't know. I, I do, the whole vessel system was just so bad. Like the fact that they were so expensive is just horrible. The Ken snipe of rank one. Wait, what happened? Oh, wait, were you guys? Did you guys have the same rating and then Ken played with other people and got rank one? Or something? <laughs> wait, that's hilarious. He just did a random 32 to plead with JC. <laughs> that is so good. So he got 0 0.2 score more than us. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Yeah, so you can apparently zoom out your camera more. I'm gonna try that right now. Holy shit! <gasps> oh my god. I can see so many things! It feels a little bit like a fish eye lens though, right? Is this normal? Is it fish eye? Dude, I don't know. Are the proportions wrong? They're gonna, they're gonna remove this very soon, by the way. I don't think they want you to zoom out this much. Why not? I don't know. I don't actually know why they wanna restrict your view a little at least. Okay, give me one second, I'll be right back, and then we're gonna play some keys with uh, Divine Field of Shine and uh, Meow. See how that works out? Apparently, uh, they only have 31 keys. <laughs> well, I have a 27. <laughs> so let's go, be right back. Dude, Nagane's just gonna die. Nagane's super squish. Only a 3% avoidance. And only 300 verse and 300 mastery. It's okay, what could possibly go wrong? I'm a warlock. Be right back.
Hello? Is my mic working? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> so I think we do halls first. She only smokes after timing 30 plus keys. <laughs> so never, I guess. <laughs> oh, do you think Nagany can time a 30? That's 27 holes. Boosting divine now? Oh yeah, I'm boosting divine. You know it, you know it. <laughs> Oh wait, I need to be Venthyr, right? Well, fuck me. My, what's up? Me, doctor, I only smoke after sex. Doctor, your lungs are in perfect health, sir. <laughs> hey, JQ, what's up? Hey, Muna. All right, let's do the Venthyr thing. I'm not hyped for Dragonflight yet because it's still gonna be so long, but I'm hyped for Alpha. Cause it should be soon, right? Right? Right guys? Soon? <laughs> the thing is as well, it's a little bit weird because Because season four, like, I don't think they want to overlap season four with alpha or beta release, right? Because that would be a bit weird. I guess. Oh, I got verse. Fuck. Well, maybe it's better so I can survive things. I think the reason why they wouldn't want to overlap alpha with something on live servers is mainly because whenever they do something, anything, it kind of boosts um, the player base and also boosts that boosts the attention the game is getting. Because even when alpha releases, even when only like certain content creators have access, they are gonna be you know people are gonna watch them, people are gonna watch maybe YouTube videos or whatever about the game, and it kind of boosts the player base because it's advertisement right but so does so is season four like when they release season four it's gonna be something new people are gonna be hyped again and whatever so if they overlap those two things it's gonna like it's probably bad right because you want to spread out the things that happen a bit i guess so at least would make sense So I didn't release Alpha before Hello, Season 4, which Welcome. they... 
I would hope so, right? I would hope they release Alpha before six four. <laughs> Thanks for the price of uh, Aztec uh, Cult. Oh my god, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, maybe they also changed their approach a little. Who knows? I mean, I guess not. I would assume they do alpha first, right? Technically, they could go straight into beta. Maybe they don't do close alpha at all. Maybe they only did internal alpha this time without open alpha. I don't know. I mean, maybe. If who knows? Sometimes they get a little bit of bad backlash when they did closed alpha because... Well, I guess they always get bad backlash, no matter if it's alpha or beta. Because people are always like, oh, why do the streamers get access and I don't? Big man, what's up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're doing big Nagani keys. Huge. Incoming West is girl and a girl in beta and not me. Everybody knows girls are not real gamers. <laughs> Man. <laughs> that reminds me of this one time when... <laughs> when I... Like last year when 9.1 came out and I wasn't into it at all. So I stopped playing WoW for a few months and played Final Fantasy XIV. And then some people were saying stuff like... I hope Blizzard remembers this and doesn't give those streamers access to beta in the future. <laughs> because I stopped playing the game for a few months. <laughs> Say, okay, sir. <laughs> oh, and this one person that said I was not supposed to get... One person said I'm not supposed to get TBC beta because I didn't play private servers, TBC. Five. Four, three, Even though three, I played actual one. TBC when it was live. <laughs> thank you so much for three years, Bemaroth. What's up? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, imagine not playing private server and still getting beta access. <laughs> Fucking unreal, actually. Necrotic Spiteful. Do we have a curse spell? No. Uh, who needs that? Divine 
I know which relic we're killing, so I'm just not killing any of them. I'm sure other people are doing that. It's not my job. I just spam Rain of Fire. Oh, I like uh, Ring. What a nice spell Ring is. Also, I like, I like um, Spiteful. It is so convenient. My thing spawned really far back, unfortunately. My shade. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> I feared it towards him. Perfect. And I still don't know how multi call works. I wish I knew. Unbound my thing, unfortunately. Because I did uh, Halandris. Fuck. Wow. I'll just get rid of that one. Nice stun, that was convenient. Camera angle is so nice. It's so far back. I'm a big fan. Divine him. I like how the shard is just not dying. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Alright, where are we going? If you, if you scroll out too far, it honestly it just feels wrong. I could have technically saved my Infernal for Shard Pool, but my Infernal is ready, I press Infernal. get this guy. Sorry, I'm a bit slow. We pulled. It's okay. What could go wrong? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? We got Vi as well, nice.
Man, I like Spiteful because it uh, helps me get my stuff back. But then at the same time, uh, I wish they would just not never fixate me. You know what I'm saying? Can they just only fixate melee players and healers? That would be nice. Okay, this time I actually save my infernal. Fine. Are we just doing boss again? Guess we're going. Being zoomed out this much is honestly a bit weird sometimes. <sighs> it's disorienting. I'm not used to it. I'm I see too much. Oh my god, for a second I thought they're invisible. Oh shit! It turned! Uh. <laughs> oh no. Nice. Hey, I hate when it turns. That mechanic is too hard for me. Man, I'd have to click the spell and I don't like it. Somebody remind me to change my uh, extraction button. After this. Okay, let's hope it doesn't turn this very deadly mechanic. Otherwise I die. Okay, it doesn't look like a turn. Let's go, we can survive it guys. We can actually do it. Insane. <laughs> In fucking sin. Please don't turn, have mercy on me. Holy shit, bosses live for a long time. I'm inferring once more. Fuck it. <gasps> Watch my short feet. I'm tiny. I guess we kill our boy. Vo? Oh, oops. I might have just, um... I will get down. Oh, ah! Could have moved out of that one? Okay, we're good. <laughs> Dude, I seriously gotta have to zoom in more. This, uh, this very far camera is, uh... Is something else. I think it's mainly confusing because it's a little bit of a like a fish lens, or at least it seems like fish lens. Maybe it's not really. I'm really just not used to this. Mm -hmm. 
we killed Wo. The question is, can I get the boy? The Stoneborn. I believe in it though. I'm out of combat, so I can just go, I think. Maybe I have to get rid of my pets. Okay. I'm doing it. I did it. <laughs> Insane. Drown in blood. My infernal isn't ready yet. So, if I get the thing again without Dwarf Rage, Rachel, am I just gonna die? Or can you actually outrun it somehow? Maybe if I go really far away and then I use my port? That should work, right? I just need to be far from the boss. I'm just dark packed, yeah. True, that works too, I guess. Okay, these are not that. Oh shit, our healer died. I think they died to a really bad time. They're gonna. Re They're gonna respawn. Wait, he didn't hit that. Okay, I guess they just respawn. Oh, this is gonna hurt a lot. I think. <laughs> Okay, we're fine. Dwarf Rachel in two seconds? Oh. oh. Ah, it's okay, just kill me, it's fine. Frankly, that's a oh no, you can't Dwarf Rachel the actual uh, thing on you afterwards. I almost would have survived. But the actual bleed on you? <laughs> The actual bleed on you uh, cannot be dwarf racial, apparently. Like the leap bleed. You're stunned? You're not stunned the entire jump? Yeah, the stun gets removed at the very end of it. So if you. If the leap. Like if you're far away from a boss, then the leap takes a while to actually go through, and then you probably have enough time to circle, I guess? Da, da, da. 
Wait, are we skipping? I'm confused. Oh. I guess we're not skipping. Oh shit. Why am I dying? Wow. Oh, I just got rid of my pet though. Guess we have woe now. Hello? Can I put my infernal? Why is Ur dying so fast? What the hell? Who is destroying Ur? I guess it's the shine. Jesus. It replaced my curse of tongues with curse of weakness. <laughs> Dude, this uh, Venthyr ability is so stupid. <laughs> I put a curse of tongues on the boss, and then I casted the Venthyr ability, and it put curse of weakness. <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. Never use curse. <laughs> yeah, that also works. You can never put the wrong curse if you just never put a curse at all. Am I saving my infernal? Yes. Probably don't have to, but whatever. I never really have looked yet, unless I feel like it's gonna be cutted into late. But it's still like global, yeah? Like when you use Havoc, it's a like global. So if you get zero shards, or only like one conflag, then you probably would have created more shards by just casting another ability instead, you know? Oh, a shine? Goodbye, I guess? Wow. 
Goodbye, my friends. There's one still in the back. What happened to that one? My infernals are hitting it too, fuck. All my infernals hitting the one t singular torment in the corner. <laughs> Very unfortunate. Okay, there's one more. I hate that these, uh, these things put um, necrotic on you. I probably should have saved Infernal. I forgot that it's not 45, this guy has no HP. What's up? How are you? I tire of your boorish presence. I tire of your boorish presence. Your pride undoes you. I am losing my patience. Pitiful wretches. Out of my way. I have to use this. Come on, Infernal. I need you. There we go. Stop casting this frontal on me? What did I do to you? you are my Seriously, your pride undoes you. Oh, my God, look at the camera view. Oh, shit. Thanks for two months, Rona. What's up? Thank you very much. Oh, 
shine. No. Oh, we don't have a rest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. oh, okay, I didn't see that one at all. <laughs> so I just hoped it didn't hit me and press all of my defensives. <laughs> you probably survive a stat- or do you? Because it's statue does physical damage, right? I wonder if you survive it with Dark Pact and other Nigra Solve. Probably. Yeah, for sure. Right? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, we got two points. Let's go. And renown. Oh, what did I get? Sanguine. There we go! Got your key. <laughs> Man, I just wish it wouldn't be so hot in this room. I think we do Sangoon. I guess you say vent there then, it is what it is. Find your extraction button, yes! Thank you. Mm -mm. Under what is it? Action bars? No. Or? Oh, it's here. Come. Alright, bear back one sec, then we do segue 28. Let's see how that works out. Okay, one sec. Am I? Yeah, my thing is not working. My stream deck. For some reason. Weird. B R B.
All right. Let's do it. Properly, like which way the statues are facing and stuff, because everything is so tiny. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Okay. Very, very okay. small. Oh, hey, buffet. You got a spot friend or no? Nope. Not right now. Okay, time to alt F4. Fair <laughs> beans. Anyone streaming? Uh, yeah. Uh, Nag Nag Nagura is streaming, yeah. Nagoni is streaming. You can, mm -hmm. you can watch him rain a fire PV. <laughs> okay, okay. Good gameplay. <laughs> 28 singing spiteful necrotic. Yeah, it's it's gonna be something. What could go wrong though? It is the shine, yep. The one and only. Can we play three scribes at the same time on Tyrannical? Surely we can, right? For sure. Just press dark pack. I believe, I believe in mail. Yeah, I mean, it's probably fine. At least if you have like some damage on the pool. If it's a no cooldown pool, then it's maybe a little bit weird. Gonna be AFK this week as a melee? Ah, it's fine. Mm. Just invite a warlock. He's gonna kill a spitefuls for you. Hmm. Don't worry about it. Try to get stacks for the third boss sword. Nah. <laughs> just heal. We just, uh, we just get a turn stack of a second boss and then we uh, pray we can kill the third boss. <laughs> yeah, easy. I like it. Same melee and find a healer to make. <laughs> yeah, the higher the key, the more damage these spikes do, though. Like, they actually just one shot you yeah, on a certain the, key level. Do you not remember the, the cat throwing trick? Pretty effective. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, our healer said AFK, cat on my lap. And I says two seconds, cat is still on my lap. <laughs> Link to MDT if you change it. Oh, first pull. Okay, seems easy. Noise, noise. Guess we invest here. Sounds good. I play in Terran Mill. Do you think you'll need Binding? Uh, binding is pretty good for Spiteful in here. True. That is actually true. I'll play with it. If you don't die on third boss. Surely. <laughs> so, Mill, are you good? Let's make him. School. Snuggleski. Mm-hmm. One. I'll just click instantly. Sure, we're fine. 
can just uh, install open the thing here pretty much. Mm -hmm. Do you have well? Okay, we do. Nice. Oh my god, they're dying so fast. I'm just ramping. Free to punish. And the solo carry as well. Let's get the spiders in the back. Two spikes melee, actually. Is it the one, like, one shot? If you don't present it. I'll play the test, bro. Test some damn. I don't wanna test here with the stacks. Get this boy. Mr. Honda, you're the star. Ash, the second guy. I'll do the last guy. Let's wait this. For now. Um, no, yeah, no need, anyways. Put the uh, bronze or something. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Ron. I can confirm it's not a one shot. But I did have. Uh, Whoa, I guess. Sure, yeah. You go next. Or I can. I'll take Star again. Yeah. Yes, sir. I love when I don't have to interrupt anything. Press rain of fire. I guess we interrupt this one. Hmm, what did I do with my. Ah, oh, shit. And we go next. Let me cast I'll this. I'll go first on Yeah. <clears throat> Why does it. Oh, you can do a second on star. I'll do second on Sure. Why does it uh, put curse of weakness on these ticks? So bad. I could miss on board. I did miss her. I was a bit late. So annoying. Still, I lost for a bit, yeah? Yeah. I'll do it like 20 from now. Yeah. Maybe pipe the uh, air a little bit so we get it for the stomp. And I guess I don't know how to kill it though. Feel now, right? We'll have a few right. minutes so. Yeah, you can last now. And one sec, I need to dismiss. Be perfect timing with the air home call. I have too much haste. That is even possible. Okay, this uh, field of view thing does feel a little bit weird, but I guess you just have to get, get used to it. No. I'm like in the roof. Divine him. Yeah, I don't know. This is him, so you might want to show contact. Oh. Oh. Careful with the boss cards. Oh. We should fall on those last ones for the boss cards. Ouch. Boys. Next one, I believe, is Apple. That pot in 25, I think I'll have to save that one. I'll just unending resolve this one. I don't have dark pact. Oh, 
Last cast in a sec, but no, I've sunk a double. I've not sunk a double. We can dwarf this for DR. The crest to dwarf. Oh shit. So oh, that fucking hurts. Next one is so. Okay, I'm gonna land hands, I guess. Yeah, I'll save pot, I think. We're replacing it since so far. Right? Just in case. So many. So, 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 so. Mail, can we do another one? Yep, turtle, diffuse. Nagoni is doesn't really have anything. His coil. Yeah. Okay, we do another one. I have a health pot and health stone. Okay. I don't need any healing in this one, first. I don't need any. I'll turtle. Sock one. So the turtle isn't wasted. Yeah, good, good, good. I'll chuck him one more quick. Yep. We get no, a cast no. now. But we're top, so we're chilling. We can kite the next one. I'm feigning it. We mm. just put them all on uh, the marks. If we even get it. Hmm. Yeah. I, I could have dark packed it this yes. one because we're cutting now. Uh, I do have touch. Yeah, but uh, I decided uh, a bit too late. He's dead. No, he's dead. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, can you do a gate with me inside? Mm-hmm. Our target lies deep within the prison. Let none stand in your way. Mark these two this. I'll take star again. Hey, Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, they're probably gonna be kind of stacked, right? Because you do it this way now. So, it's just gonna be mass grip first into infernal. Three, two, one, grip. Mass grip, infernal. Oh, that was a bit late. That's oh. nice. My sweep. Shadow fury. My blasphemy. No, shadow fury up there. Sinning. My ring. I forgot that actually, Infernal spot, actually is like a decent so travel place, time. Yeah. Mm, grip it like a, li a little yeah, further yeah, out, outside. Yeah, it would be nice. Either in the room or like... Got a binding on your ship. Like where I can pick the gun the back when it casts. Sure. Man, I'm just sweating so much. It's just so hot. <laughs> I am struggling. <laughs> Just running down to the lantern now. I look so stuck. Too much time on this guy. I don't have MD, so I'll try and not push, do too much, I guess. Mm -hmm. Just open this thing here. I'll get next star. At least, at least it put curse of. Um, let me just get out of this. At least it put curse of tongues on these guys. That's something, I guess. I'll kick over here. Does everyone have a uh, invis or belt? Or no? I kind of forgot to explain that, I guess. But I guess that's kind yeah, of I'm good. standard. But everyone has to do some. Spots. Well, those spikes give us stacks again. Oh, they do? Nope. Edge. Can I see if belt works? Nice. You play mini boss now, right? Or no? Is this yeah, mini -boss we'll just go get the water. Uh, okay. Be careful with the uh, tornadoes here. I'll do first and water. You can probably just use defensives here on pull as well. Heal her. And then divine next on the. Yeah, just let me do it. How hunting yeah, you to just yeah. focus on dodging? Yeah, here, here, tornado. Sweet. 
You can you can just run I think right? Don't take. Yeah. I think we just hold this here. Just run. Just run. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just run. Alright, there's no soup though. Uh, I, I think you can uh, mine soup the three here at the door now, and then yeah, you be can come with I'll have cheetah, so should be fine. Hey, that guy is uh, enraged. Tornadoes. Where he's coming from? Okay, kind of a weird one. On the right. Oh, Frankly, that's a oh god. <laughs> oh no. Guess it does uh, one shot. Yeah. 97k! Oof! That hurt! 20k, how did <laughs> yeah, it not I one shot know. you, Hunter? What? <laughs> I don't know. Thank you. What the fuck, bro? You're a tank? Holy shit! Mm. I mean, I like. <laughs> I think I took a hit from it. Oof. Now I'm doubting it. Ivan, you can do first spin. Yeah, hit for me for 70k. <laughs> me and Hunter on the wall then. Wow. Or have a triple. Do I kick first or? Do nah, I don't. We can open my never count. Mm -hmm. And you got yeah, mask it? Yeah. I'll sweep next. Sweeping this. Shadow shadow as well. on. Oh, yeah. Do you want to trap the patrol or do we need it? We want it uh, in ASAP. Okay. But it, uh, it's kind of an unfortunate patrol. I pull it if you want. Man, now I'm it. super scared of these shades. I'm dead. Oh, holy That's God. a weird name. <laughs> Jesus. I just spite on my ass as well. Fuck off me. Uh, Carl, <laughs> kick the first on Fury here. Uh-huh. Oh, that's fine. Oh, there's a sentinel here. Oh, that's fine. Pipe it. Actually, can we kill the Fury? Full pipe Fury? Trying? Try. I believe. Don't have seconds. Some of the Fury. Yeah, easy action. Big blast here. Nice. Easy. Like giga close. <laughs> I know it's easy. <laughs> Let's grab that, so I'll just chain this uh, big boy. <laughs> well, we ideally want to patrol, but it's not here. I'll do the fury again. We'll just get the other pack instead. Oh, another sentinel. Mm. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Oh, it's out of me. Oh, thank god. <laughs> it looked like it wasn't me. I'll go land these uh, ones from far. Do you want me to trap the patrol then when they come? Uh, yes. Okay. Pick next scroll pad in the back. We are not activating here. Mm hmm. So on the big ball, mm, I think it has to be you and uh, Kao on the warden edge. Sally ha has to do a, uh, a fury because we'll have two, two of them mm. on the ball. Sure, sure. I'll set the highest as well and just. Sally, I will put a star on the one I want you to do. Sure. I can curse of tongues. It'll be the one the, the warden, I guess. I've trapped it. Oh. The uh, fury, just... yeah. Yeah, you guys can just chill here in the back. I'm gonna go full. Let's kill okay. these You okay to play from him? I'm like yeah, here okay, this one. You can tag this hospital. Mm, yeah, kinda wanna have to save it. Fuck it. Pit is gonna pull, but it's for the way. Ow. 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 <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm sure I'm very, uh, and I get this a bit far, I guess. Holy fuck, <laughs> that's right. 
This oh, is you put your line is melt. If you go through or no. Yeah, that's, I have no targets. Let's get feed him, yeah. Second. I do next order. Mm -hmm. It's a bit one over. Am I opening yeah. this one? Yeah, yeah, you're gonna just open them whenever you have time. Come. You do the next one, Gordon, mm -hmm. orange. Fuck is that scribe? Oh, it was oh. one we wanting you pet, I guess. <laughs> no, that was the one trap. Oh, there's a trap. Oh, I didn't break it. Is that one finding? Binding stun. I'll go next orange. I think you should have it. Yeah, you'll have. It. Spam it. Hmm. Focus the uh, highest piece grab. Yeah, I'm definitely focusing something right now here. <laughs> Don't mind me. Last time this guy you. Man, being a melee with Spiteful, very unfortunate. Here we got it. He's nice. a tank digger. Not yep. even close. Well, this boss is actually gonna get the brutalized. Lost on pool? Everybody fine with that? Yeah. Yes, sir. Sure. Let us begin. You will confess. Right up there. Oh, cool air. You guys can just focus on whatever the fuck. <laughs> I'll just spend my rain of fire. I'll have damage for the next step. Like with Sage and shit. So it should be fine. Wow. Maybe I should have Sage Pot for next boss. Oh no, we have to invis after boss anyway. In case my belt fails. Oh no, never mind, I can mind soothe um Mind Sooth the uh, Door of Shadows. Do you wanna try the trap strategy? We will at the end. So I don't even need to miss. I'll save my Venthyr ability for the at just in case. That may be spicy one. There's much down here. I'll touch this one actually, I think it's the last hard one. Watch this, watch this. Yeah. Fun, guys. Mm, I have. I don't have much it's for this gonna one. stay in uh, if the castigate is on hold, probably. Since I says two minutes. I have nothing here. So, one of them. Frankly, that's a oh, skill edge. We can rest though when this <laughs> dies. Did we do the thing on the next one? I'll trap the place inside. Will the boss live for more than a minute? I don't think so. Right? Wow. We can do it on the next I one. I have Infernal Stop. now. The trap is inside, so if you want to do it, you can... Yeah, okay, right, just... Do not dock, do not dock, do not dock. No. Oh. Hey, that's OP! I didn't know that works! That's broken, what the hell? Yep. <laughs> Pretty broken. We will get one more out, though. Okay. We, have one, we have under two minutes, and uh, I have one minute. Actually... Wait, yeah, died. Wait, we can do it again, again. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. Wait, this gate is not openable? Oh, so it's... Uh, just, just kill that, just kill that. I popped two minutes, it's okay. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, which way are we supposed to go here? I have no idea, bro. Uh, outer, Sorry, outer. I killed it. Outer. Oh, God. And then inner fast. Oh, no. <laughs> are we doing it? Do Dwarf it? Maybe? Hey, email. Oh! <laughs> Thank you so much for getting yourself to Keener, I appreciate okay. it. Made it. <laughs> you see bossing us? Usually they just... Um, they have like a timer on themselves, so they hmm. explode eventually if they're too long off. 
-hmm. But since we did not mm -hmm. negotiate, we never hit that timer because you just die. But it explodes I don't have a flask, after, oops. like, I think 30 seconds. You mean, could, could you then just skip all the ads? You can, technically, yeah. But the, the doors eventually, like, uh, there won't be any space eventually. Yeah, some of them are not openable, that's true, yeah. But, I mean, you could just kind of keep you drag, could... dragging the boss until you find one, you know? Exactly. You can. Saying when it zaps even hurts to watch. But, uh, like, is, do you want me to reset the boss? <laughs> uh, wait, what? Just relics. If oh, you reset. relics. But it can't, you know. I think it would be fucked. Yeah, I think I think you need can to... Can I eat real like... quick? I did not know what that was a thing. I believe. Pick some guys, then... Come. Pick next one. Yeah. Oh. Just get two random picks, I'll sweep the ones after. Sweep the exit. Sweep these. Maybe shut up here next. Mm hmm Then just do pick some random guys again, add orange. And mass grip these. My ring. <laughs> Priest here. Oh, you're not. I guess they're a part. Ah, shit. I have uh, a lot of sex in me. Okay, we'll have Mayo on blue, Caro on. Caro on purple. Okay. And Hunter, you do green and I'll sign you to melee. Could you give me Tiger's Lost on like the explosions if I cover it? Yeah. Is that fine for you? Okay. Yeah. Good. How dare you do I turtle first? Yeah. You should, yeah, so you get another one. Okay. I'm just using this now because I don't think we want Earth to die fast. So the fish, I think. It's fucking insane here. You can actually see the entire room. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Post them. Wait, but this thing just did no mm -hmm. damage. Fuck. So I just take orbs in melee, right? Oh, man. No, that is a shark. You Which take, color do I have? You take greenish. Yeah. Okay. It hurts. I'm gonna try to go. Yeah. Yeah, that error was completely awesome. useless. Yeah. Aren't you starting back for this? About the earth, yes. I don't have health pots. Let me know if you guys have the uh, only. Oh my god, I got two divas. Another defensive, then I can just have a uh, empty down there. Three stacks with no defensive is fucking dead. Like with someone, or okay. Holy shit! I almost died through a dark uh, enemy myself. They're right next to the bus. Alright, I got the blue. Okay. Okay. I need Tiger's Lost again. Yeah. Could you zone this one? Such yes, sir. Take this too, I guess. I'll go have turtle for next. I want to save the um, coil. Okay, we get for next. I don't have much half pot yeah, and coil. Actually, really? but if we turtle, I see, I mean, thing bugged or not? it's it's up. I can do it. Okay. My patience is wearing thin. The light shines. I randomly press I'm my. I'm using a conduit. I don't know if it shows that I'm like. Code on strike. Yeah. Yeah, looking good. That one, actually. 
Oh yeah, raids. Man, this boss is just so scary. We need, we'll need Tiger's Plus again. Yeah. I have Dark Pack now. So it should be Ben. By mistake, somebody might be dead. No shit! Ah shit! It's okay though. It's <laughs> the boss is dead. The bomb man did last twenty percent is fine. Yeah. Better than expected, to be honest. I'll infernal. Make sure. Oh, Holy shine, Paddy <laughs> Bye. <laughs> This is actually a spicy one for me. I don't really have anything here. Uh oh. Death strike, bro. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> Help out to the rescue. Jeez. One death on this boss. Nice, nice. Yeah, this fight is really long. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Do you want me to just lost something next, or you want to save it for boss? Just save it for last boss, I think, or yeah. Okay. Save it. And what the fuck is this it's camera it. angle here? SM sounds. I'm gonna save sweep. Ow. That uh, I that shot hurt. Can you stun this? Uh... Mm -hmm. I don't have stun. So, mm -mm. Spites. The spider is in the windows. I can't cast in this guy. <laughs> we have two minutes. Can I pull like the dead pack uh, insta? I have every single CD in the game. At least I do. Yeah. I'll just no. pull insta then. You guys yeah. probably have to pre pop something for the for the first jump. Yeah. And so Red X will be doing some damage to you. I do orange, no, turtle. Hun hunter yellow, divine green. Wow. Oh shit. Why do I not have time? I speak. Shadow fear next. Yeah, watch out for Vi. Green. Oh, we got Vi. Uh oh. Yeah, we have a Vi here. Care about for the green. Uh, yeah, okay. A lot of spideys. I'm gonna grip them to the back. Yeah. For some reason, I didn't have a timer for the first jump. Maybe I didn't have a name for it. I don't even know what to be for a space of actually. What's the beam here potentially? Jump in one. Mm. Do we need a bat with this path or no? Uh, we got an extra sentinel, so we're good. Jump in three. I'm scared. Yikes. Oh my god, I was almost out of it. <laughs> okay, we need an error publishing. Yeah. 
I just insta click here, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. You wanna get the smallies in the like, caster as well? You have no grip actually. Ugh, I don't think we can then, right? You do it without grip. It's not a problem. Mm. But at this point, I think we just get 10 stagger. Oh, shit. And then... Yeah. I'll go pull the boys now. It's gonna be my sweep first. Come back on the here. My sweep. Then I've shut up here. I mean, just two kicks, two kicks. We actually have nothing. Uh oh. Fuck. That's a nice <laughs> combo. Nah. <laughs> can do PS here, you. I guess. No, really Please knock as well if you have anything. Okay, that was maybe not the, the right way. <laughs> <laughs> now we're not getting this thing. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> I used stream for the spites and I guess the shadow tree for the spites as well. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think about it. No mass script. It's kind of a spicy one. Yeah, we need to make sure we get over here. Yeah, I'll focus it. Mm. Are you gonna pull the boys in stuff? Are you doing these or going? How are you going to keep getting a combo? Uh, I'll not pull it, pull it I'll just take it slow. Yeah. Oh, just two picks here, jump yeah. into. I'm not gonna dwarf this because we're s I'm so safe. I'll save it, maybe I get wow. jumped again. Wow, first. I'm, I'm gonna go get the Where am I? <laughs> I think you didn't get Where the Where am I of fires? <laughs> did, did I jump into? Can you sweep these uh, weapons? Yeah, I don't Oops. know if I got Oops. them. It's kind of weird. Time. You got one of them, the other one will probably go. I got it. Oh, what, the craggy? Right. The best spice uh, oh, 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 it's always so <laughs> dog shit. I don't get it how it's always this timing. Uh, we can just push oh, that is so very unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man, that is so bad. Dogs stop spawning when the boss does, right? Yep. Or did they already stop? Oh no! Oh no. <sighs> they will not stop until uh, the boss is pushed. Mm. I should be able to release them. Yeah, you can probably get past if you insta combo. You have to insta combo though, otherwise you can in combat. Like a fane eater, a turtle after. It's true. Maybe wait until the dogs spawn? And then no, he... release? Dogs just right. spawned. Yeah, he's fine. Mm, okay. I got through. Was it hate Moonkins? Oh, I know. But everyone hates Moonkins, not just Blizzard, so. <laughs> Some dogs alive. Yo! Jesus. Jesus. Do you have a grip, uh, Meow? Ah! These weapons. <laughs> and here's a bind, bind. Man, I wish I had a better camera angle from my so, like, that so point of view here. On the boss. Point one. Okay, easy. You can release now, right? Yeah, or are we just killing? You can release, yeah. Mm. If you have a belt, you can get past him. Yeah. I do, I do. Can't wait for the belt to fail, though. Classic. <laughs> More weapons. That craggy time it actually just feels like it happens every time we are here. <laughs> Kinda weird. Or the earth slam as well? Yep. <laughs> no. Need to somehow try to like bait the craggies outside. But it's kind of hard to keep track of everything. Do we need a bed, actually? Nope. No. This guy is sending me <laughs> Second, wow. Next book is like, what, 14? God, I'm well, so slow. We will uh, just pull the pack with the boss. Timer is uh, not looking too well. Yeah, five minutes. One second. Can we go feather, feather Nagony, please? 
Parker's not something. Less than three. I am just so slow. Thank you. Oh. Watch the traps. The spicy part is only uh, in the beginning. I think. I'm gonna fun. turtle this one. Stay inside. Yeah. Traps okay. now. Pretty sweet. One trap. I'm all faint. Try and stay inside. That's so good. Slowing his buddies. Um, I have Fane actually, you can stay out. Or in, I mean, sorry. This boss gonna take forever. No, I don't have anything for this one. Yeah, let's go. Pretty sure we can thank mm. it. It's uh, needed. I'll just dwarf it. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, Mew. Mm. I get nothing. We don't have to see you, by the way. So try to play a little bit safer. Yeah, I mean, you, you can you can tank the swirl, just don't tank the line on the. Yeah. If you tank both, it is not ideal. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I just I didn't have anything there. Hmm. Yeah, that sucks. I just didn't have any. Uh, I didn't have my circle ready. I guess I could have tried to outrun it. Like sometimes. Well, I don't think. I can. Actually, no. I don't think I can outrun it. I think I'm just slow. My feet are too tiny. It just does so much damage. Kind of insane. 24, 27. I Thanks. didn't really have much. I had I had uh, an ending resolve up, and it still killed me through it. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. I feel like we're not charging with such a damage increase as well. Just not having to follow. Are you broke? Spicy. It takes for 4.5k through unending resolve. Oh, he went up. Okay. And then when I had two sucks, it ticked for 9k. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely worth to. You, you can drop a gateway. The problem is just. Um, like, gateway and circle are pretty unreliable just because um, the beams happen and you have to pre place the gateway. Wow, the hunter utility. So. You know, like, you won't know if it's gonna work. Because then the beam goes through exactly where your circle is. So you can't use the, the circle to dodge it, because otherwise you're gonna circle into the beam. And same goes with the gateway as well, right? And I'm not night phase, so I can't blink it. You can dwarf shadows it, actually. But obviously dwarf shadows is a cast, so it's, like, pretty unreliable as well. What I could do, um, I think that is actually better. So instead of trying to use my gate to dodge it, I can use the gate movement speed to dodge it. I should do that. Because when you're Venthyr and you use your circle, you First get class, movement speed. Seconds. You can drop your infernal. Be enough, though, so. Yeah, apparently not. <laughs> Very unfortunate. Idea, you can solstice it, yeah, we just didn't have any resses. <laughs> Fuck. This was me, so we can finish the boss. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Not take. You can replace you the circle, but. Uh, 
You also don't know exactly when you're gonna get charged, right? Because it's not like... At least, maybe you could have a week or to know exactly have... when you get charged. Because you know when the beams are gonna go through approximately, but you don't really know exactly when you're gonna get charged, right? <laughs> true, we could hurt you. Maybe I should have saved Dwarf just in case something bad happens, because I used my Dwarf really early. Mm, There's gonna be Dodge again, I don't have. I don't think I get hit by the beam though, right? When I dropped so low, I think that was just a charge. The beam didn't actually hit me, I don't think. Might be wrong though. Like the first time. When I had the first bleed. Unlucky. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to dodge this beam as Warlock, like reliably. And uh, not the beam, the, the, the slash. Charge. Well, if it's on a hunter, you should probably just play melee. But I don't mm. know, after that, it gets a bit spicy, I guess. Yeah. yeah I what I could do maybe, maybe is because uh, you can use plus? gateway Relax. to dodge it, right? But then if the. I mean, uh, circle. But if the circle is in a beam, then it really sucks. But when I'm vent here, I get speed for a few seconds after using circle, right? So maybe I should just gate before and then just outrun it or something. Do you have um, a timer to see when she charges? No. Um, if you could probably also pre... Um, what's it called? Dwarf Shadows, maybe? That would probably help as well. Yeah, that works too, yeah. I don't know, it's just mm -hmm. an annoying mechanic sometimes for certain classes, I guess. I guess I could have also saved the uh, Dwarf, because I used Dwarf pretty early when it was kind of safe. I would also always dwarf the the first charge. Like she yeah, does not two the second in the one, face, yeah. because mm -hmm. the second one gets instantly like cleansed from the shield anyway. So yeah, yeah. that is easily healable. Yeah, Imagine I dwarfed the, the second. In the wall. Yeah, it's adding yourself up and die through it. <laughs> That's one messed up. <laughs> oh, what key did you get go? Um I got mists. I missed it in the skeet there. Mm-hmm. Can do that. I need sure, to take a sure. bit of a break though. I need to finish work up, so I'm gonna call it for now. But okay. all right. thank you for the invite. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for the keys. And good luck. What's See Buffy wants to join. Yeah, maybe Buffy is. I'm gonna go for a uh, smoke. Be back. Did you PM him? I'll ask him. Guys, uh, in half an hour, they're going to release the liquid video, the Negro liquid video. Kind of excited. I haven't seen it yet. I pur purposefully didn't watch it yet, so I can watch it with you guys. I'm sure it's going to be embarrassing. <laughs> no, we didn't time it, unfortunately. We would have timed it if I didn't die. Uh, but I'm uh, unfortunately, you get hit by two wicked uh, slashes in a row. And that was apparently uh, too much. It is kind of insane that you just die through wall, though. I guess it's because it's physical damage and I'm a cloth person. So I just don't have a lot of armor to... To mitigate uh, that damage. Does it even mitigate it? Does armor mitigate bleed damage? Yeah, right? Or does it not? I'm sure it does. Doesn't be, be, yeah. Yeah, it would make sense that it does. So I guess Warlock is just super squishy against it. Well, I got two points even though we depleted it though. So that's nice. <laughs> Getting all the score from depletions. <laughs> just like Salia. 
Uh, I think I go Night Fin now. No more Venthyr gameplay. Finally, I get my Soul Shape back. And I also have AD Renown again. <laughs> Still not AD Renown as <laughs> the <end> here. <laughs> uh, who needs AD Renown anyway? Which kind of do you play uh, instead of portal speed buff? Good question. I'm playing cool enough fell domination reduced. And what's portal speed buff again? This one. And I'm playing this one instead. Because you only have one finesse, right? I guess, I mean, yeah, if, it really sucks when fell domination is like a super long cooldown. When you sit there casting your pet for an hour, it's like, ugh. It really does suck. I guess it depends on the dungeon though. Like sometimes you Sometimes you don't need the speed from the from the circle. I think it is really nice for Sanguine though. Sanguine depths. But outside of Sanguine Depths, I mean I don't know where else it would be useful. I mean, I think it depends because you, do, you you only really use demonic momentum like on a boss or something to dodge things, right? You don't really use demonic momentum for like walking through the dungeon because you're not going to sit there, cast the circle, then use the circle and then run, right? It's slower than just running, probably. <laughs> and yeah, if you have soul shape, then demonic momentum also loses value, I guess, because you're just going to soul shape instead. Sometimes, I don't know. But I'm sure there are situations where you would want to run it. Yeah, and TOP, I think it's probably good. TOP, it's probably good for like Gore Chop, for the last boss as well. And for Xaf. Yeah. All right, bear back one sec, then we do Mist, I think. Maybe I managed to not deplete the Mist key. I won't die on the last boss this time, I swear. Be right back. <laughs> What key you wanna do? Just do this one. I mean, do you wanna? I mean, we can only play two days this week, yeah. Yeah. I think we have main squad uh, later tonight. Oh, okay. So you wanna save the thirty ones for Chiawat? Yes, sir. But you know, I'm raiding today, though. Oh, later. you're raiding. Yeah. But I don't think that the raid is very long though. But yeah. At least I fucking hope up with this all of these nerves. Okay. Let's slam some uh, necrotic work then. Yeah, I feel like we could just play like playing at twenty seven mist is just fucking boring, you know. Do you, do you think we can be the first boss? On twenty seven or what? <laughs> I mean, yeah, if we explain how we need to play the first boss, it's the only thing. Yes, yesterday, I guess, was the kind of... Didn't really do it with that group, you know? So, Buffy. Can't just join and not say anything. 
Oh, I'm fair. missing. Yeah, we can go on a crawly quick. It's at least a funky. Just gambling in POV at the moment. And losing. Double. So we slam a 31 way car. Man, I'm gonna leave sure? the... Yeah. The sure. door open for a sec, because it's so hot inside. <laughs> Jesus. Look at this cute cat from... From the bottom. So Thank you. If you time it, so don't get Which one? 31, 31 wake. Oh shit. <laughs> Huge points. <laughs> 31 wake, let's do it. I have a feeling this will be a fiesta though. <laughs> nah, I believe. <laughs> Maybe it's a 28 too, just soon. <laughs> Minus what happens? What happened yeah. while I was gone? Thanks for gifting us out to Rex 2000 ish, and thanks for gifting us out to Agatron as well, Anonymous. Thank you so much. Right, or? I think that Necropolis is easier. Um, the Necropolis is uh, spicy with Necropolis. Uh, with, with Necrotic. But uh, besides that, I don't think uh, anything is really too hard. Oh, that's me. Actually, the hey, first ball was also game. spicy. Thanks for press of Yorkshire. But I'm a dwarf now, so I have two resets. True. Yeah, fine. Dwarfs up here. Just let me prime the red bomb and we, we blast. Mm -hmm. This gonna be as yes. 31 wake. Oh my god, I already see my dead, myself dead on the floor. This is gonna be a floor puff. I'm more worried about the first boss because that one is always. Uh, people don't really know what they need to use to survive the thing, you know? For Puffy, it's only faint, like turtle rat and GS. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. The wallop. I assume I'm fine with dark pack now. No. I'm, 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 not, I'm not sure. It's like 150k or something. Or. Huh. I remember. I remember last tyrannical week we did 31. I didn't leave it with karma, but dark pack is a little bit stronger, I think. Yo, hmm. Make sure you take the shield in the beginning. You can survive an extra one then. Uh, you can use, use the shield. That's a, isn't that kind of spicy to go shield the guy though? Or how, I, I don't even know how the shield works. Well, I guess the person the that is the squishiest yeah. just takes the shield and uses it on themselves. Yeah, that's yeah, real. Yeah, I guess. I, I don't want to kill this boss again with, without <laughs> the healer for the fifth time. <laughs> I don't really remember if I leave this with diffuse only. Surely I do. Dude, am I just gonna die with, through Dark Pact? Because oh, I don't have any avoidance. Two, no time to waste. <laughs> Alright. Make sure you suit the boy. Buffy is on Vanguard. Me and Nakura Harvester. I'll do first a call for you, kick. Are we investing after this or pulling Woe? We, we kill Woe. Okay. Turn on here, and then I oh, skip. I fucked up. I lost it. Oh. Whatever. Whatever. Go over here. Fine on wall. Push the boys. Next boss is gonna be fun. Not to find. Not yet, soon though. Never Stop it now. Okay. Oh no, one of them oh. getting ahead. I'll stun it. I'm gonna ring on you. Confirm my drift now. Oh, fuck, I forgot about this fight. Mm -hmm. oh, no, they they one shot by the way, don't get my light. Yeah. Pull with our build, uh, something. I mean, I, 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 I turbo fucked my damage. I don't even know what that is. Usually, because I don't know. Usually, Chia Inferno was a little bit earlier, so I was like thinking if I. Yeah, whatever. Almost we have to wait now, right? Yeah, but we'll kill these cringe lords. Mm -hmm.
Well, I just believe. Are we? We're probably middle, right? Yep. Yeah. Come. Make sure you're in melee with the orb. You hit stuff. Kill her. Okay, well, actually, there I will not. Uh, no, you can go, can go. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Sweeping. Oh, fuck. OMD, careful, whatever. It's just by this. On the bind on this? Yes, just bind, just bind, just bind. I need to re reset my stacks. Already used wolf. Oh shit. You spam? I'll stun the solo guy once you come close. Rage, the next one is on me. Put the breath towards blue. Never mind. Put it in between the two. It's still towards blue, yeah? This is turtle. This is binding as well. Yep. Bombs Why did that one there. binding just instant trigger? What? That's actually weird. Flowing on the boss. I have slow as well. Next one is GS on me. Can it, can you just fame it? I can. You want me to use it? Because he needs GS himself if, if it's on him. I'll just use both to make sure. He cannot, he cannot live without GS either. Sure. Ring when if I get next one, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna die, I guess. <laughs> the sweep when they come close again. I'm having you breathing, Mr. Buffet. Very sorry. There's some bleeding edge. He's sweating like so fucking hard on the light board. I have nothing if it's on me, I guess. I can zone. I mean, you oh, you got the chest, you got the chest. Nice. You can bind these. Don't put the boss ideally. My boom bust it. You fucking terrible RNG on this. Get up here. Mm -hmm. Next one I faint. So I'll just slow them. No, we're just gonna have to hope it's on me. Everyone else is like the sack, I guess. I just Euro have dark pack. Uh, I think they're okay. Maybe yeah, I think so too. This is a fucking BG though. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'll, I'll you can ring it. I'll just sweep and take them close. It's slow again. Do we even see R or no? I guess we do. But I think it's kind so. I'm sweeping here. On this one, what? Okay. Oh shit. Weird, oh. Oh, fuck. Mm. Combine. Yep. It's down, but it's not bigger. It's now. I've got back the wall again on the next one. That's the mm -hmm. wall. Yeah, we're chilling. I'll use both again if it's on me. No one. And ring if needed. I have snow. We can shadow fury. Mm -hmm. And we just kind of have to run a little bit. I slow again. From the shit will be spawned. Nice! Gonna bad luck. Still made it. We're somehow alive. Yeah, I wonder I wonder if I would have survived with Dark Pact only. Probably. Probably. Uh, 19 in a row. 
I, I shine, only getting one is pretty busy. Uh, Oh, oh yeah, I guess we just might as well just do the safe thing, right? On the 31. Yeah. Don't really need four bus for second boss, I think. No. Catch. Almost mounted. <laughs> do not pick up the orbs instead, just let, let them sit there for a sec. You take all these spideys, mount, and then we'll go. Let's go. Does GI usually look good? He takes star. Yeah. Car, you take star. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kill the here. Let's get rid of this roll. Orb up. Frank, that's a skill issue. Oh, that was a front saw. Maybe you can go. Mm. You can just release. Yeah, no, no. release. Release, yeah, release. Yeah, sure. Hmm. I'll take now the suit. I believe I was in a frontal there. Yeah, I'll take the orange, the orange the yellow. Yeah. Oh, why am I mounting? I have well. <laughs> Thanks for Prime Sub Hyper Master. I appreciate it. it. Thank you. Fun. I think I saw it here. A mage. Blank kick. There is nothing you can do to stop us. My kick. Bump the kick. Get this. I don't know if I live. I'm, I'm not sure if I live. Actually, I do. I do. 100%. 100%. So, <laughs> don't even lose HP. <laughs> How about you in the credits? So, money. Yeah, this guy will die in a sec, though. Oh, shit. Oh, this guy as well. Kill this biting first. Yeah. How oh, you will do green insta on Paul? Mm hmm. To my life, or it is sweet sweeper, right? Yeah, shut up here as well, so we don't get any early wells. It's kind of weird with the frontal boy. This is a lot nicer. Holy fuck, yeah, that way you should. Door. Oh, shit, you will wells. Heal these. Probably should save infernal here, I guess, for the boss. Someone pick up the shield? No, it's whatever, I guess. Or for two ticks on boss. Whatever, <laughs> I'll uh, play with last ticks. I'll count. No I'm holding the last of it. That's for the next. Buffet. Can you re-CC? Shackle? 
Just get it in. Don't I'll be sure uh, on the cast. Yeah, sort of here. Frankly, that's a scary Oh, uh, fuck, man. <laughs> I yeah, was still last. Oops. Here. We can try again. Yeah, we can try again. Unfortunate. What we'll, we'll we'll broke the CC? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. I had nothing on it. It had a dot of some kind, oh, at least, because oh, it, it kept break, break, break. Oh, you shadow would paint it. Oh. It's unfortunate. Mm. <laughs> Just uh, rest, try again. Uh, very unfortunate. Love this timer. I love yeah. that. Yeah. But yeah, if it's uh, if the ads aren't there, it's always gonna be shadow fury. Like those yeah. Okay. 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 Mm -mm. So I'm missing six K beautifies on you. He shields. No matter. Okay, I rip my food. And I used Infernal before it died too, fuck. Okay. My soldiers rise once more. My soldiers rise once more. I don't think I can solo rot here. Now I can. Oh shit. Okay. The ads will definitely not die, so it is 100% a shadow here. Mm-hmm. You sure? There's some fox. Okay, no <laughs> matter. Oh, that's a challenge. Each damage. The panel just uh, yeah. disappeared. <laughs> the earth of this. I'll do. save mine for a little bit for ads. Never take the boss by, by the way, Kara. It, oh, it does okay. not work. Yeah. Bugs so. up. kicks are fucked on this boss. Hmm. Didn't know that. I see it. Okay. Ash. So passy on me. Me. But I should die. Okay. So pet kicks don't work. It's messed up. I didn't know that. Ash. Hmm. Me. The fallen shall serve me again. Okay. I don't have much for this one here. Ash. These ads probably won't fight. No, I don't have anything. Okay. This is mm -mm. looking like a shadow here indeed. Yeah. One final act of service. No trust, what if I guys? No, uh, no, <laughs> trust. no, no trust. <laughs> I I mean, failed one, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I will do. I have Infernal now. Where's this warrior going? Ash. Okay. Yeah, this one's dead for sure. Two sets. Me. One final act of service. Look how far you can zoom out the camera, it's insane. Ash. My character is too small okay, like this here. though. Puffy. I don't like it. The fallen shall serve me again. I don't have a defensive at the moment. I will do. Ash. Oh, it's because I am very skilled. Oh, we don't have rest. We have to 
Okay. Got to see out the first uh, mage that spawns this way. Mm-hmm. It's always uh, the second death. Like ah, I forgot. I can't, I can't do late kicks here. The curse of tongues bugs it out. Should I just not use it? Y yeah, you should not. Ah, okay, okay. It kind of baits people. Yeah, I'll do the first one. I'll bring that one. And then make <laughs> pick the ball, Sash. Yeah, I'm coming. It's gonna oh, be shit. a Yeah, uh, we lost. Yeah, I got 30, I think. Unless, yeah, it's got 30. So, yeah, the. Curse of Tongues, like it, you increase the boss's cast time, but the actual cast time gets reduced, it's still two seconds. Oh, so okay. It's, it's, it's kind of weird. So when people do late kicks, it just goes through for. Ah, uh, shit. And here I thought I'm helping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the attack speed curse is better. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's so messed up, though. <laughs> Fuck. I guess we do weakness then. Okay. No depletes, oh, too late. <laughs> too late, too late. We did pretty well up until that point though. I guess. Plus 32 chest. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sounds reasonable. I guess this time I'm saving last track. Yeah, save last <laughs> box. I'm so fucking dead, dude, holy fuck. I mean, just trust, <laughs> I'm gonna do three times the damage. Like, I Omega fucked it up last time. This temple was merely the first to fall. Gonna be fine. Oh yeah, the video's up in five minutes. Oh shit, I'm gonna be in the middle of a queue. We're gonna watch it after you the queue, okay? Uh, We're watching it after the queue. Yes, no, I am. Let's try again. Four, three, okay, this two, is it. One. Oh shit, I don't have Infernal. Oh well, whatever. Do you want to sweep on pool still here or no? Or yep. is that like a last Yet okay. Have you come here to be slaughtered as well? Oh. <laughs> this temple was merely the first to fall. All of Bastion will burn. Oh, never. Fine, fine, fine. Mm. Holy shit, I'm just getting throat flesh. This is terrible greed. I can explain after that. Have you shot a fury? That shot of fury was so close, that shade almost hit me. Can you guide them away a little bit so I can ring as well? I'll do it like this. I just realized it's completely pointless to even start fighting this back before, right? If you want to do this relic thing. Because like you're always going to be limited by these two last soldiers coming in. So you're just tanking everything for fun. <laughs> and, you know? True, I guess. Well, it just makes more sense to wait for like five seconds before going. If you want to do this. There's one more shade, I don't know the... Okay, it's not on that one. It's Chilling. on me, but apparently Infis is not breaking, so that's good. Yeah, same. I was cry. Like, this is just so far away. I actually have a really hard time uh, getting used to it, kinda. Better get there this time. Guys, when they come in, oh, that's weird. I have a sweep like this. I'm gonna find him, probably. Ah, oh, it's fucking bound. Sad. I got the highest view on this one. Yeah. Now only have an ending resolve. I think. Okay, it's not on me. Have fun. Everywhere. Don't really have any, anything here. Oh shit. Did you just get one shot? 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> the rest I know for sure. And that. If the next one is on me, it's a zone in case. Mm, I think a dark pact alone should be fun. Yeah, so let's see. Oh, didn't even need. We ring one of them goes? Yeah. I'll wait for the gas a little bit. I'll bring them out of the gas. My slow. Oh, They're so close. I you can just buy them. Yep. No, 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 let them walk a bit closer. Careful, they're gonna stop at the boss. That one not bound. Close. Oh, it's slow. I'm Shellens. I'll just dart pack and hope it's fun. Oh, let's hope. Mm. Oh, Ring yeah. one out. Yeah. Okay, so I don't need unending and dart pact. I wasn't even full HP either, because I dart uh, pact is really late. There's a bind. We can try to angle it. Like put a put a bind on blue. Okay, now if I get it, I'll just use both. Cause I might as well. Okay, cool, cool. Hey, Vishu. Wait, I just said, hey, Vishu, and uh, Google was like, hello? How can I help you? <laughs> no, he didn't miss the surprise thing yet. We're gonna watch it after the ski. I'm gonna pot serum. Let's mm -mm. the next play for fun. Actually, I'm just gonna hold it. Hold it. What do you need here? Wait a little bit with activating because we have to kill the spiders as well. We'll probably do analysis fire. Same kicks. I'm stuck. Oh shit. <gasps> Dude, that was so close to me. Jesus. Oh, uh, we can do next on Nerf Super. Oh, 
Oh, can you just do it on camel? Yeah. Hey, Norosa. Yeah, technically, I missed it, yeah. Oh, a little bit too far out, maybe. It's my bad. Did you watch it? Is it good? Always a little bit scared of the front. How embarrassing is it? If I infernal this, I'll get it again for the boss, actually. That's the plan. I'll just rain a fire this. Big rain. Foolish paragon. Thanks for 16 months. It's very what's up. Welcome back. I think I'll just spy the hearing it. That was scary. Oh, I didn't get that one. Same kicks, Caro Insta Green. Mm-hmm. Sure hit wall here. Very important to hit us. Early sweep here. Yeah, okay. Shut up here as well. Mm-hmm. I'll save everything else. What's the next one of these kind of girls? It's fine. Get the weapon. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Show that info. Be good. Almost fucked it up, fell enough. <laughs> this time we have less of the buff, I guess. No first. Ash. Okay. My soldiers rise once more. It's too close. Uh, can you just uh, kick it in? Uh, I should be next. I'll stun it. Speed next. Can I? Probably above it. I will do. Ash. Who play? My soldiers rise once more. Me. Ash. It broke. I'll stun it. Can you re CC or not? Buffy still? I'll do that. Here we are now. I will do. Do you want me to have a cooldown or hold it for another two minutes? Two minutes probably. I mean, I have. I'm not. Yeah, I should do. Let's do it then. Yeah, this is fun, I guess. I'm in front of Meat. Ash. That's are dead. Those that's are dying. Hmm, I'll Meat. save Soul Rod for next sets. I'll save Infernal as well. In a second. Okay. My soldiers rise once more. Me. Ash. Bone will reduce you to dust. 
Okay. Yeah, they're dead. Mm, I don't have a defensive Me? here. Ash. I guess I'll help pot in case. A punch hole. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I'm scared to stand in this bubble when the ads spawn. <laughs> they don't see anything in the floor. I'm just gonna pot here. Ash. And then a dark pot. Puppy. Near, I probably just want to focus the boss and shut up your idiots in case they don't die. Shut up your or sweet. I will do. Yeah, I think we just did the same one we did uh, last week. Let's do the comps connector with the um, best craft That's. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's no X? Wow! You can try. I will leave no the here my <laughs> oh wait, hold on, you mean the same boss on the inspiring week or the one before? Yeah. Oh, okay, so you wanna... The corpses we need I will do the... Uh, what's it called? The important cards on the collector. You guys do the other... I don't have it. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I don't have it either. Oh, I don't have it either. Uh, oh, put a ring down so you can send the ring. Put a ring down yeah. so you can send the ring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, that was a lot of sex very, very fast. This was a uh, bitch. fucking spicy one. <laughs> Can you track them on the collector or no? Uh, or, or do you wanna. in a second? Yeah. I can sweep now. Okay, I'm chill chilling, I'm chilling. Try to get the cleavers in the collector. Oh wait, I forgot that uh, this is bucked. I have to chaos bolt, I uh, forgot. What should I use? Can I finally fix it? Well, actually at this point just don't fix it. There's no crap list, fuck it. Mm. I'm a bit uh, slow. Uh, I guess uh, we uh, should have checked if we have stuff. Holy fuck, that was kind of spicy. <laughs> yeah. The best book, yeah. Slide oh, I, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet <Switcheroo>. Um, <laughs> Stop applying darts to the flash crafter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we'll see see it very soon. Let's emulate for 14. Mm -hmm. this one. 8 seconds. This guy is looking at me. Can release. I'll link it. Oh shit! Oh, he broke the brawn. Just trap it. Just trap it. Just trap it. <laughs> what the fuck? What's so close? Eight seconds. I had to retrap re the patrol just before. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait. What are we doing with this boy? Okay. Oh, there we go. I'll sweep here and pull the spare parts. Wait until the spare parts are dead for the break button. And go now. Yeah, let's see. Be ready with the cleaver. The trap down already. Nice. I'm chaining. Oh my god, this shade. Deeper from front first. Try that collector. Set. Can break the gun back. Mm. Oh, it's fucking sp spite here. It's a little spicy actually. Oh, wow. I have raised link up. So we can't break until we have jump actually. We can like ring into vine or something. 
killed. Oh shit, is this fine? Okay. <laughs> Jesus. What? Hmm. Uh, man, well, man, I'm we really sick. Killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did they clear me? Very, what the very fuck? Fucking close, but you didn't get mm. the clear race, but I mean. It's gonna hard when the guy breaking is not on voice. Yep. Ring. You, you can ring this. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be some shit. Maybe I can live with everything. Hmm. Let's try to hit that one. The soldier. Yeah. Nice. Okay, I'll touch this. <laughs> that soldier was walking uh, like right in front. Actually, wasn't even that bad. Could have been a lot worse. Holy fuck. Yep. Dude, I was very scared. <clears throat> huh? Oh, go in. Yeah. There's a trapper that's far in front, so yeah, it's gonna don't, walk Don't, don't, don't break it. it. Kill the relics first. You guys, do the kicks right. Mm -hmm. Can break now. Just keep mm -hmm. far away though. First one's probably gonna be out range. Might be dead. <laughs> Here. Here, gotta reset. I'm gonna go break it. Some Welcome, more. friend. Hey, Dustin. Thank you so much for the five sub gifts. Thank you very, very much. Welcome to the land of the magic Take chicken lady. Ah, uh, it's okay. Watch the shades. <laughs> okay. We can go and see. One of us! One of us! Hi, Vintage Dog, what's up? Welcome to Arrow, Milky Chaos, Stenaby, Quake Bird, and Sinigal. Welcome! Thank you so much. Yeah, all right. The crafter in the back will be broken kind of after the first cleavers finish on these guys, just so you're ready. Both on you, both on you, both on you. Just pick direction. I'm breaking. You want some meow? Strap is down. Fixate on meow. Leave it from the other guy in a sec. Some. Meow, you can hit this easy. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, it's so good for you. I break the old guy. Dude, what's that? Oh my god. This guy hates me. <laughs> yeah, Jesus! That health pot! <laughs> I will soak this. Yeah, there's no way I can hit this. Jesus fucking Christ. I can hit this easy one. Breaking the old guy in a sec. Breaking this. Can you recommend? Yeah. I oh, just keep getting pro flashed. Ah, like that. I would have died Sorry, if I didn't have any result. Pull down to the dumber zone, just try to hit this. Please! No. Oh. oh, it hit? What? It, 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 it did that go. somehow hit. What? What? Uh, I think don't break the last guy until this is done. Okay. Probably you have to no soak this one, Divine. I hit this. No trap, no trap. Yeah. Just, yeah, just do a binding and... Let me hit it for a bit. You should play Savage Love too. It. Can you grip it away or no? It's bound right now, but I can't. Uh, okay, no, I can't. I'll, I'll, I'll link up the voice up. I'll link up. I think that's some dog shit. It's your trap after. Okay. Knock it, Mew. Uh, okay, you can knock a meme Mew when you have. Good. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> no. Us, no way. What? What's on it and when is it expiring? Yeah, pets, on, pets on it next. Okay. Yeah. No pets on it. Oh shit. I'm gonna ring. That was so this. close. <laughs> I'm just gonna ring, I'm not sure if you hit. This one goes off and it's my ink up. It's my ink up. My ink up. Then you put a trap in front and we're chilling now. 
Because the Gorgrind was casting Gut Slice, so I had to run like around it, and then I had to walk into the the thing on the floor, like the pool. It's the most MLG knock I've ever seen. It, you did it on Divine as well, right? It wasn't even <laughs> on yourself. Holy fuck. <laughs> so you you knew that you were angling the guy into the trap, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> so fucking good. <laughs> what a gamer, I, actually. Why can't I see some the, the debuff on mouse? It's really annoying. I had no idea, like, why, why was I dotted on, on it? And even if you target it? Yeah. Hmm. Should have broken, but just wait for the first one. I think I got this one. I'm breaking now. The Nagura. Can you make mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Cut this down. Good. You can get away after the next one, I guess. So let it let it get in the top first and then break. Yeah. You can break. Breaking fall. Break. So too early. Something mm. broke it. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, pink up. One more spew. Nothing, but am I fine anyway? Uh, yeah, yeah. We don't have ink up for because the nameless is gonna point us. I'm going to do the pet foundation on against. I don't have a mark. Okay. He's the tab target, bro. You are an expert at that. <laughs> Make sure you hit this uh, thingy. I will spear the boss hit, though. It's my ring, bro. The cleaver will be broken kind of after he lands, so be ready. Breaking now. I don't know if the trap hits though. Nice. Just put it on the wall. I soon. don't think Breaking I. Now, you can do pet bone if you're MLG. It's kind of fun though. My ink up and my ring. I'm going to replace this one. Replace this one. And then I think this is a shine spear. Yeah. yeah. Be ready to pump the new guy. Have a deck from him. Do not have. Breaking. Actually, no, I can't break anymore. We have to wait yeah, for the. Oh, it's in man, nice. Okay, breaking. I'm okay. Ready. Maybe. It moved a little bit. Nice. We hit it. <laughs> I think you just send a hammer. Divine, maybe. Do we? I mean, the guy. Uh, I mean, sure. I think we just kill the boss when he comes out of pocket. We can maybe do a break and land a uh, early one if we're lucky. He's yeah, break. I'm breaking. So, Mio. Oh, don't uh, die, mister. Oh, nice. Know, I'm so lucky. Let him Actually, he's saying. My, my pet just got one shot. I think I need to move it out and then pump. Yeah. Well, ideally, yeah, we move it out. Otherwise, yeah, this dies and stuff. Hey, Andy, what's up? My ink up. Oh, you broke it. Hmm. Nice. 
Okay, when the boy spawns, you spear. Be ready to break. After the first spell, we will break. Break now. Uh, maybe I'll just bet stun it. Just bet stun the guards out, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'll link up with our pal. No, no, let me. Okay, sure. Are we gating oh. all of them? Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. We will yeah, have yeah. crazy hours, so yeah, you can just stun the gates. You can just break. I mean, uh, break. It's in a shine. Oh, oh, nice. I just put all on the planet. <laughs> This is two year old Ivex. So, holy fuck. <laughs> Fucking Buffy standing in the melee with the fight as well there. <laughs> what? He had every ability in him. The binding was on you. You were next to melee. Yes, I was definitely Oh, is he? Yeah. Uh, we can. Now this break is bad. It's a trap down. It's a trap down. Oh, oh that's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Buffy's. What the fuck? You're running ahead of Shine. Kind of no, no, I'm not. Nope, I'm running with Divine. Mm? Uh, no dots, please. Ash, I'm, can you tone it yeah. up? Yes, I'll tone it up after. I, I need to stop this. That gate looked really weird. I need to hit the cleaver on the. Uh, whatever I do is hit the cleaver. You can use a shield. Yeah, there is one. I'm going to move it. Yeah. Does it have any dots? Or no? no, it doesn't. It, something it. broke. Instead. That gate was just instant. Did you see that? It's fine. Okay, this, I just clicked. I just clicked the gate and it was like instantly on the other side burned, somehow. The guy is kind of close. When he gets mm. close, it's kind of fucked. Wait, I actually just hammer a buff. He just hammered his hammer. But I hear. I'm dead in one second. Oh my god, I can't even die yet. Frankly, that's a skill issue. Get the uh, you rest, Carl. I'm dying. Yeah, I'm resting. Oh, can use RP. Oh, break. Break. Breaks. Oh, it's too early. That's oh, yeah, good. That was fine, man. I guess my timer is like it's a giga fuck for the shield. We have no more mm. heroes, by the way. Yeah. I also have gate cooldown anyway. Play this one. Yeah, just use cooldowns on the guy downstairs if you have it. It's a pretty beefy guy. I uh, don't have anything. Probably gonna die. Oh, good luck then. <laughs> this down. is not good, guys. It's not good. By the ring. I have soul rod, I guess. But I can't stand in it. I'm gonna pot. Break. 12 seconds, there's no way. No incaps, just so you know. So only break. There's just no way. Yeah, I can't kill this guy. <laughs> Frankly, that's a skill issue. Well, <laughs> uh, I used everything. I used pots, I used soul rods, I don't know. I just don't have anything else. Yeah, we kept the flash crafter for the boss. Man, this mob is just uh, it's too touch. hard. What can you do? <laughs> now they don't have a gateway either. Actually, he doesn't I cast it anymore now, right? Yeah. It's fine. I have trap already pranked. No, if you die downstairs, it just doesn't port your buddy up. It's kind of messed up. But we don't have a battle rush anyway, so it doesn't really matter. If you run into these, it ports you up. I think sometimes it's just bucked. Because sometimes it ports your buddy up, and sometimes it does not. So I'm not sure how exactly it works. A Was it close with making the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It wasn't 10% when Go I ran the, out of time. Hit the air, uh, ankle, bro. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do you mean? It's 200k HP. It's not even gonna be in. Plus 14, it guys! Let's go! <laughs> oh, sorry. Huge points! What did I say? Two seconds? <laughs> yep. So, yeah, I think it bugs sometimes because sometimes you get ported up. Uh, TOP. When do you not get ported up, by the way, when you die downstairs? Is it when two I... people are down at the same time? Is it if it uh, if it like expires? 
But like your your down if it's long, so you just yeah, die to yeah. the timer. Yeah, if you don't make it, you don't get the portal. But oh, I see. Okay. Mm. I change the mists. Yeah, I think it's time for the dinner break, so I guess before raid. Yep. Maybe mm. I'll play some more tonight. Kinda of RNG. But <laughs> mm, yeah. Are you doing something? Though? How oh, I'm kinda of tired. Maybe I keep mists. Ah, uh, actually, I'd change it. Mists are ankle sucks. Spires. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for the big carry. Nagani got huge points. <laughs> How many points right. did you get from this one? I think this was 12. Oh, that's insane. 24. I even got two from the deplete earlier. Sanguine. <laughs> was it your first 30? This season, actually. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, plus 30. Let's go. <laughs> well, maybe I'll see you guys tonight. Yeah, mm -mm. thanks for the keys. It's done the call. Yes, sir. Yeah, maybe Thank another geez. time. Cheers. Yeah, right. laters. GG's, GG's. Did a plus 30, guys. It was all me, of course. <laughs> yeah, and now we have to watch the liquid video. Somebody link. Okay, I got it. Is it like really cringe? <laughs> Dude, I love the, the first video they put. Oh, it's so, it's so cute. <laughs> That's actually the cutest video. <laughs> the way she's walking. <laughs> Let me just uh, go and get some water real quick. Hey, let's get rolling. Tell us about yourself. My name is Nagura, and I'm a WoW content creator. I'm from Northern Italy. My first language is German, and I stream in English. All of my content is in English. Can you tell us about your competitive experience in WoW? Yeah, I was in Method for a couple of years, and I managed to get a few World First skills back then in the race. I think I got beautiful um, all World First skills during Mists of Fandaria. So in, during all of those tiers, during that expansion, and I also got all world first in Worlds of Jenner as well. So yeah, during those two expansions, we won every single That's tier, me. and it was just <laughs> such a great experience to be part of that. You're clearly a WoW veteran in the raiding scene. Can you tell us about your involvement in the MDI? I got into the MDI because I was... Oh shit, playing I participated there. Look, I played with now. ...in Legion with just friends. And then eventually they announced the MDI, and I was like, oh my god, this is the first time that Blizzard <laughs> Look actually at my focus does something space. with PVE esports in World yeah. of Warcraft. Because that was always my dream, that they would start doing something, because Why aren't you in your I warrior was setup, playing um, World First, and I was putting so much time and effort into the race and everything, but uh, Blizzard never had any official like prize pools or tournaments. And then they announced the MDI and I was so excited. So we put a team together. Uh, in this group, we did manage to qualify for the MDI trials. This was the very, very first MDI. And Five years qualifying ago. and playing on Tournament Realm and just having this whole experience. Look at the UI, really how it looked and like in the past. Afterwards, I immediately got approached by Blizzard and they asked me if I want to cast the MDI for them. And I decided I want to go that path and just uh, be part of that whole esports um, as a caster so I can still stream and pursue that career as well. And that's what I ended up doing. But I'm really glad I participated once and was like part of it as a player, uh, just to really see uh, what the experience is like. I love it. That was actually really cute. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty great. I like it. Oh my god, who made this video? Whoever made it was awesome. I cried. Welcome <laughs> to the Aww, Show. It's actually so cute though. Thanks for Prime Sub, uh, Praxis. Thank you so much. I love it. That's actually so nice. Oh man, I love it. Y'all have to go and like it, of course, now. It's on, it's on the Liquid Guild Twitter. You gotta go and like it. So they know that I'm really valuable to their brand. <laughs> It's so cute. 
Oh, it's on YouTube as well? Oh, nice. But it's a, it's, is it a, a longer version? Or is it the same version? It's the same, right? Oh, it's longer. Okay, let's watch it. She's walking. Look at her. <laughs> Let me just. Uh, I'm so confused. Some water, real quick. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, let's get rolling. Tell us about yourself. My name is Nagura. We'll spend and most of your time resurrecting her. Creator. That is correct. I'm from Northern Italy. My first language is German, <laughs> and I stream in English. All of my content is in English. Uh, I've been playing WoW since vanilla, so 15 years ago, forever. <laughs> And I've always been. I can't believe I've been playing for 15 years. Of World of Warcraft, uh, mainly PVE. So I've been part of um, the World First guilds as well. I've been part of the race myself, and I've also been casting the World First race. So I've been uh, behind the scenes. Dude, my hair is so pretty back then. 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 Not there, but before I just that. I love the whole competitive side of World of Warcraft, and I'm super excited. <laughs> I need blonde hair again. To get a little like blonder. Attention and to become bigger, and I just really, really uh, support the players, and it's great to be a part of it all. How did you get into World of Warcraft? So I started playing WoW when I was 14 because uh, my older brother um, had bought the game because he heard about Look it. Look at that video, so me how it works and like um, show me around and just big look at my tour and all of these characters. And at first I was like, nah, this is not my game. But uh, eventually I started uh, watching my brother play and started playing myself. And then I really, really like started with this whole world, and I just really uh, loved everything about it. And I've been always very competitive and um, was part of the World First race and Mythic Plus tournaments and I'm just really excited to still be playing WoW. How did you get into streaming? So at first streaming was just a hobby and I did it next to studying at the university and then it got, went better and better and more people watched me so I just decided to give it a try to see if Thanks that guys, by the way, for Thank watching you. me. Can you tell us about your competitive experience in WoW? <laughs> yeah, I was in Method for a couple of years and I managed to get a few world first kills back then in the race. I think I got um, all world first kills during Mist of Pandaria. So in, during all of those tiers during that expansion. And I also got all world first in Worlds of Gender I got well. all so, yeah, world first. Those two expansions we won every all single of them. tier. And it was just such a great experience to be part of that. You're clearly a WoW veteran in the rating scene. Can you tell us about your involvement in the MDI? I got into the MDI because I was playing a lot of M Plus when it came out in Legion with just friends. <laughs> and then off. eventually they announced the MDI and I was like, oh my god, this is the first time that Blizzard actually does something with PvE esports in World of Warcraft. Because that was always my dream that they would start doing something because I was playing um, World First and I was putting so much time and effort into the race and everything. But the uh, Blizzard never had Johnny, any official yeah. like, schools or tournaments. And then they announced the MDI and I was so excited. So we put a team together. Uh, in this group, we did manage to qualify for the MDI trials. This was the very, very first MDI. And qualifying and playing a tournament realm and just having this whole experience was really good. And afterwards, I immediately got approached by Blizzard and they asked... Um, now look at my first MDI team! And ...playing a tournament realm and... Look! You remember this guy? <laughs> Good old now DK, Kina, Speed, and twice last. Unfortunately, we got disqualified first round. There was no loser's bracket, unfortunately. <laughs> hey, Royven, what's up? This was really good. And <laughs> no, I, I won't, Royven. No, no, no. Well, first rating. Oh my god. I'm past. way too washed up for that. <laughs> And I decided I want to go that path and just uh, be part of that whole esports um, as a caster, so I can still stream and pursue that career as well. And that's what I ended, ended J. up doing. J. Bay. But I'm really glad I participated once and was like part of it as a player, uh, just to really see uh, what the experience is like. You have and I miss those glasses. I need to wear those glasses again. And also a They're cute. Player. What is your favorite memory with WoW? I think my favorite memory is probably getting world first on uh, Archimon. That so was a really long nice. Time ago, but that feeling of finally killing the boss and knowing that uh, you got that world first skill is uh, it's just an indescribable feeling, and I will never forget. I like how they put. <laughs> you got that world first skill is. Uh, this is me, right? 
But I'm called Datum for reasons. <laughs> it's just an indescribable feeling and I will never forget about it. <laughs> I nice nerd burst, screams. Like, ever, like, like nerd screams, but I just have this like really awkward laugh and giggle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When we kill the boss. And... It's true. Whenever we kill the boss world first, instead of like yelling or something, I just have this awkward giggle. <laughs> I just, no matter which emotion I'm feeling, I'm just always laughing. It's so, because I'm just like weird, you know, just socially awkward. So I have this socially awkward laugh. Whenever anything emotional happens, like everyone's yelling, like, yes, and I'm just like, hee hee <laughs> <laughs> Just like, this happiness, it's just really, I don't know, I can't describe it, but putting so much work and effort into this, I'll never forget, it was amazing. Did you know about Team Liquid back then? I didn't know about Team Liquid when I started 15 years ago, but uh, I did recently hear about Liquid a lot more, and uh, I've only heard good things, so it's this whole like, big family and everyone is so friendly and inclusive and I'm excited to be part of Liquid. What are you most excited about joining Team Liquid? Uh, I'm just excited uh, to be part of um, the guild, part of the Liquid as a whole organization as well, because uh, I think they're this big family and they're very supportive. And I'm just excited about the whole World of Warcraft space to be uh, up there and be a bit more competitive as well, because uh, I'm really friendly uh, with all of the players as well. So it's really cool to be a part of it. And we're super excited you're joining us. Pretty decent answer, I would say. We get nice. a let's go liquid. Well done, pass, let's Nagura. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Dude, sometimes when they ask me questions and I have to come up with an answer on the spot, I'm just like, <gasps> and then I say something really dumb. <laughs> That wasn't even too bad. You know, it was kind of good. Well done. Good job, Pass Nagura. I approve. <laughs> nice. Well, that was cute. I like it. Retweeting. You are so nice. In the Twitter comments, in the YouTube comments, not so much, but that's to be expected, right? <laughs> hey, YouTube comments are just something else, you know? Wow, the YouTube comments or something else. Bad choice. <laughs> and then the guy's saying that I'm dying a lot. Someone's saying, how do you know? Have you rated with her? And someone's saying, dude, I've seen enough WoW clips. I've heard that. So yeah, I know. <laughs> Man, you know, when you just put together a highlight reel of my deaths, I mean, seriously, though. Um, a highlight reels of anyone's deaths would look really bad, I think. Mine made... I do have some very interesting deaths, though. Sometimes I die to things that you would think you couldn't die to. Like disengaging off the platform or something. <laughs> On that point, we should check out how our tank died on our Anduin reclear. We should check that out real quick as well because um, it's relevant. <laughs> it 
take a look at this tank. Okay, yeah, it's green. The guy. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fucking. Something flew off. Oh. Like somebody just uh, used it off. We have a red. Fifty <laughs> falling off the platform. Come on, little fuckers. He's not really mm. worth it for us, though. I'll make a channel for events like this. And now you want to see it from my POV as well? Because we need different POVs. Of course. Fucking. Oh, wait, that was too Something strong. Threw... Fucking. <laughs> Something threw off. Somebody yeah, just, I think uh, it's just it off. Fuck. Fucking. Something threw off. <laughs> Somebody I just, think uh, it's just it off. Fuck. Like a big T falling off the platform. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. Beautiful. Something threw off. I see life from that hasn't changed since I played with him then, still so smacked floor. What life like she never dies? Life from is a giga chat gamer. Life from never dies. How dare you say that? Well he does once in a while, but very rarely. <laughs> Mr. President, get down. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's do some puckies real quick. Because unfortunately our group disbanded. Let's see, are people pugging high-ish keys? Roker survival? Streets. 28 to 30 DPS. Sure, Nagany fits, fits, right? Sure. Survive Nagany. Want to sell Mythic Free Loot. Ooh, that sounds interesting. I would like to have free loot, please. Which dungeon do you want to see him? If we do a lower key. We might have to do like a lower key. Like 25, 26 or whatever. What dungeon do you want me to play him? Yeah, I stopped reporting them because it takes so long to report them now. But I think they might have changed it again. Let's see them. Oh yeah, they changed it. Oh, thank God. Now I'm going to report them again. Yeah, at some point I stopped reporting them because they changed the way reporting works. And it took so much longer. But now they fixed it, so we're good. <laughs> to the free loot dungeon. <laughs> Maybe a house? Wow, uh, wow. Twenty five holes. Twenty six missed. Gambit, yeah, Gambit is fun. Well, on Tyrannical it's not as fun because mobs are dying too fast. <laughs> Usually they are dying too fast. If you do really high case, it's fine again. I would really like to play Final Fantasy XIV again, but... I don't want to just play it, you know? Like, I kind of want to, there to be some sort of project, maybe, where I'm doing blind raids or something like that. And I also don't necessarily want to do an ultimate, because ultimates, I think, take too long. It's too big of a commitment. I'd rather just do some blind savage raids. If something like that happens again, then I'd like to join. Oh my god, we got an invite, let's go! Yeah, exactly, Skull. I have 
haven't really fo been following Echo No. How did they do? Because they stopped eventually, right? How far did they get in the ultimate? Anything about making Seraphil cost more AP, but it can stack up to three times? I think there's an inherent, uh, inherently um, flawed like design with Starfall. Because the problem is Starfall has such a huge radius that it's really, really, really strong on targets that are spread apart. Because there isn't really any other class that can do the same. Like almost every single class in the game doesn't really have anything whenever ads are super spread out. There's some classes like Affliction Warlock that can put dots and then rupture, but um, there's very few classes that can deal with targets that are super spread out. Um, Ella Lightning, no, Ella Lightning doesn't have such a huge range. I'm talking about like really far apart, right? And yeah, the issue with Starfall is it's already incredibly strong on spread out targets because no one else can hit spread out targets, right? So that's why Munkin is super strong on fights like Sylvanas on, on the arrows, right? Whenever Sylvanas came out, Munkins were super OP because they were killing the arrows and no one else could really kill them as well as a Munkin could. And same happened with the waiters on the council fight as well in Castle Nathria. And the thing is, it's already so good for that, that if they buff Starfall even more or make it stackable, then it would be even more OP for a situation where they already are OP, you know? So, like, I would also like it to be stackable, obviously, but I understand that there is this design issue that if you buff it for stacked AoE, it automatically also gets really good for spread out AoE where it's already really good. So in my opinion, they should maybe give us a talent or something, like an additional ability that costs astral power, like a spender, that we can actually use on stacked AoE, you know? Like, for example, um, maybe they could give us something like Fury of a Loon, but it costs astral power instead of giving us astral power. And not, not like it used to be where it's like draining our astral power, but maybe Fury of a Loon costs 40 astral power, and you put it down, and it does stacked AoE. And then you can just use Fury of a Loon as your AP spender instead of using Starfall, whenever the, the ads are stacked, you know? I don't know, like something like that. Because I think it's really, really hard to make Starfall balanced if it's supposed to be good for stacked AoE and for spread AoE, you know? Like, not sure how that really wor would work unless Starfall would have some sort of splash damage, like the Conduit used to work. But yeah, I don't know. Right back one second, then we do the streets key. Mm
Sorry, I'm ready. Alright, let's do it. Make it so Starfall strikes targets with Sunfire and Moonfire twice, and none mark targets once. Yeah, but then it's still really good for spread out AoE because you can just dot them, right? I mean, to be honest, yeah, there, there was something called Lunar Shop now in BFA that would do split damage. So basically, when a Starfall hit a target, it would splash around it. And that was really good for Sack AoE. The problem was that it was too OP at the start. And then it nerfed it so much that it, would, that it was completely useless. So if they would have something like that, but it's actually balanced, like not too OP and not too shitty, then it would probably work. Exactly, I blame Kanex. Five, four, three, two. We're not raiding one. today, right? It's Wednesday, okay. We're good. Is it worth Astra to in effect to put Immolate on as many possible, or should I just spend Rain of Fire? You always want to use Rain of Fire if you would overcap shards. You never want to overcap shards. But. If you don't overcap shards, then you want to uh, immolate. Oh my god, our tank is dying. Kill it! Nice. <laughs> yeah, I tried to dispel the weapons, but... Yeah, here, by the way, um, the reason why the tanks are dying on this pool a lot is because the security mobs, they, ha they give themselves a buff that makes them do magic damage on each auto-attack, these custom security. And you can actually dispel this. It's an... You can offensively dispel it. Same as these officers also have a reflective shield that can be dispelled. The problem is, of course, that uh, they buff it very often. So... If you don't have a lot of people who can dispel it, then it's, it's hard on a tank. See, now they have it again. I dispelled it just now. I guess I can use this key level to explain stuff a bit. Let's make it an educational dungeon. Because I think the Tassavesh dungeons, they're gonna be really good for you to know. Because they're also going to be in a Season 4 dungeon pool, right? And I think a lot of people still don't know like everything about this, these dungeons. So yeah, these weapons you see, they can be dispelled from the security guards. Then the officers, they, have also, they also have a buff. That needs to be dispelled. And it's like a refractive shield, kind of. So you want to make sure you dispel it as well. Oh, I just walked into the thing. Oh my god. <laughs> I walked away from the shade and walked into the, the beam. <laughs> and yeah, then these overseers, they just put the slicers down on the floor. That obviously should be dodging, not like me. And then the things you want to interrupt is mainly um, the stasis beam, because that one stuns. And... Um, you can also interrupt the lightning bolt as well, if you have extra interrupts. I don't think there's anything like super important to interrupt, other than the stun, of course. But if you have extra interrupts, you should probably interrupt that... Uh, that tank cast, basically. And the stasis beam. Then there's also like a lightning shield they cast, this, um, the officers. 
But that one can be dispelled. So it basically puts an absorb shield on a random mob. But that absorb shield can be dispelled. So it's not that bad. Like you, you can just let it go off and then someone can offensively dispel it. Obviously it depends how many people you have who can offensively dispel. Sometimes you just don't have that many people who can do that. But if you have someone who doesn't have a cooldown on their dispel, some, some people can just endlessly dispel, right? Thanks for 15 months, Bixby, what's up? Then, this minibus here... Um, you need to make sure you interrupt the glyph, that is the really fast cast. Because if it goes off, then the whole group will get a magic debuff that slows them and does damage. So that one you want to interrupt. And then you can line up side um, a cast on this mob. That is pretty... This Radiant Pulse. If you line up side it, you don't take damage. Because it's just... It's an uninterruptible cast. It does AoE damage to everyone. So if it's fortified and it's a really high key, then it does a lot of damage. And you can just interrupt it. Then, on this boss, the one important thing to know is that if you stand inside his hitbox, the shield does not absorb your spells. So if you're ranged, you can just stand like inside the hitbox, and you never have to worry about the, the frontal shield that absorbs your spells. And one more thing to know is that whenever he fixates a person and puts them into, into a containment cell, you can actually immune that if you use a stun immunity. You can use a quantum device, for example. Quant quantum device, because you're stunned, right? So if you use quantum device, um, that one is kind of like a trinket, like a PvP trinket. So you can get stunned, use quantum device, and you will get out of the stun immediately after. Then you can also use a pot. It's called a Potion of Unhindered Passing. It shares cooldown with all your other pots but if you use it you are immune to stuns for five seconds so if you use it in the um, correct moment then the spell will just not go off yeah, i'll show you it's on me now and i'll just use the pot see and it just didn't happen because i was immune to stun And all other immunities, any immunity that makes you immune to a stun will m immune the ability, basically. Wow. And then in case, in case you don't have anything and you get into the containment cell, then it's really important that you use a defensive as soon as you get out of the containment cell. Because the problem is, right after this cast, like right now he's moving to the cell, right? But right afterwards he will cast a weapon the one that silences you. you and that one does a lot of damage on high keys. This one, the thing that I just got. That one does a decent amount of damage to you. And you're already low because the containment cell, when you're inside it, damages you as well. So sometimes what happens is that people get stunned from the containment cell, drop really low, and then immediately after they get out, they get silenced and the weapon drops and you die because the initial damage just kills you. So that's where you want to use a defensive. And of course, whenever someone is in a contain- Oh. I have nothing for this. See, because I take damage here, right? So I'll just use Dark Pact immediately afterwards. Oh, okay, I actually just died. I died from the containment cell damage. Uh, Blessing of Freedom wouldn't work, no, because Freedom doesn't make you immune to stuns, it makes you immune to slows, right? And then here, these Overseers, they are not linked. We're supposed to kill Wo, right? Oh, we killed Vi? Okay. Yeah, you can see these two Overseers that are standing really close together, they're not actually linked. So you can kill, uh, you can... 
fuck, I just got hit again. Am I dead? I thought I would be not in it there, but apparently I am. Okay, I'm fine. But yeah, so you can just pull only one of them, because two of them is a bit uh, messed up. Because then you just get so many beam slicers everywhere. And that can be really annoying. So a lot of people only pull one of them into this group, just to get the extra percentage. Oh, true. I was waiting for my woe buff and then I realized we didn't kill well. I can also just walk past it, I guess, with the mind suit. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Are we actually going left? Nice. Thanks for the grip. Appreciate it. Oh, shit. Yeah, and then this map here, because obviously you cannot go out of this ring. And this map constantly casts these beam slicers. And you can even see on who it, he cast it on. He targets the person and casts Beam Slicer. So what you want to do is put them not where you're running, but behind, right? Like right now it's casting on me, so it will be here. If it's in front of us, it takes away a lot more space and all of a sudden you need to move much further. So you just want to make sure you stand, stay behind or at least not in the path of where you're running. And then in these guys, you kind of want to interrupt, uh, like the breath is a tank attack, frontal, that you can interrupt, but usually tanks are fine to just use the defensive. The thing that is much more important to interrupt is the curse, because they will apply a curse to everybody that reduces your haste by a lot. Okay, this time the tank was to this curse of dread. But... If you're on uh, voice chat, then you can most of the time interrupt the curse and also interrupt some of the breaths. So at least you don't get double breath. Because then it's a lot of tank damage, right? Then for this map here, it charges a random person, right? And if you are standing in a path that is not reachable for the map, it will just not uh, charge you. So what you can do is like you stand on something like this, like you stand on a lantern or whatever, and then the charge will just not go through. Nachos. But it has been going well so far, yeah. Oh my god, my pet's dying. Item you have all been awaiting. The alleged demon cursed edge of oblivion. We'll start the bidding at five thousand. Do I hear five thousand? I hear five, six thousand. Yes, six. Kabazai has a profitable venture. Then these peacekeepers, they charge you and interrupt you, and the only way to avoid the charge is by standing in melee range to them. So what you want to do is just stand in melee range, and you don't want to necessarily move around too much. Because if the tank moves them around too much, then obviously you're going to end up not being in melee range again, and then it's just all kinds of annoying. He now got charged by one of the mobs that was outside. And then, other than that, I don't know charge, they also cast a shield, that is a channel, that um, reduces damage taken by the mobs. So you want to make sure you interrupt that. The only way to interrupt it is with stuns, like this phalanx shield. Uh, spell damage taken reduced by 75% is what the shield does. So you want to AoE stun it or... Or knock it or whatever.
Yeah, for sure. And it, yeah. Potion of Unhindered Passing is really good. It's much better than a damage pot. If it causes you to not get one of the containment cells. Because the containment cells are a huge damage loss for everybody, right? Considering that everyone needs to switch to the containment cell instead of doing damage to the boss. Then on this boss, if you're a warlock, you want to use Dispel Pet. Because then you can dispel both of the magic debuffs. That are going out in phase 2. The only thing you have to worry about is that... Um, the boss also does like a shield, like he shields himself and does huge tank damage with a cast that cannot be interrupted until the shield is gone. And that shield is dispellable. And if you use Imp as a Warlock, then you don't have the offensive dispel because you don't have your Fell Hunter, right? So if you have to check your group and see um, if you have a magic dispel or not, like an offensive magic dispel. Because if you don't have one, if you're the only person that can dispel it, then you should keep your Fell Hunter to make sure you can dispel the shield. But there's so many people who have an offensive dispel, usually it's just fine. So we, here we have a priest and a hunter and another warlock who can all dispel it. See, this is the shield, I mean. Okay, no one actually dispelled it. <laughs> one guess. See, this is a magic debuff that I mean, the circle. That one can be dispelled. And this is the shield I mean that should be dispelled. Wow, welcome, Tyler Moonkin. Thank you so much for the sub, uh, Rasamarth. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. And here, whenever the boss spawns, because usually they tank them up in a corner to make sure the orbs don't spawn in bad spots, right? Because this mob spawns orbs out of him, and if you're in a corner, then they'll have a smaller, like, radius, kind of. Or a smaller area to spawn in, so it's easier to collect them with the debuff. Um, but the problem is that the last boss spawns from the middle, and if you stand too close to the middle, then the mob might just hit you. Um, before the tank can get aggro. So you want to make sure you stand far enough away from that. And then when someone gets those chains, the person with the debuff technically wants to stand on top of the person to make sure they don't die, because obviously when you're in a chain, you can't move, and then um, it's very easy to die this to the orbs. So if the chain is on you and you don't have any way to get rid of it, because you can use freedom, for example, to get rid of it. So if you don't have a spell ready to get rid of it, you want to move into melee range. So the person with the debuff can get the orbs from you. And then additionally, you can also still use certain spells while chained. You can use circle, for example. Demonic circle. And you can also use soul shape when you're in a chain. So if you're about to die or an orb is about to reach you, you can use those abilities at least. Just woke up to Nagura Stew in the Liquid Plus quest. Could it get any better? <laughs> Our is a fair <laughs> hey, Eric, what's up? Yeah, make sure you farm your Liquid Plus points, guys, yeah? Wow. 
Uh, this, this, the map is not close enough for me to be line of sight here. Yes, the way the way you can play this mini boss, I guess most people already know this. But if you stand in this corner here, where I am right now, then you can still hit the boss through the wall. Um, but whenever you get this chain, so two people get chained together and you just kind of get pulled together. And if you touch each other, then you take damage and get stunned. Which is obviously really bad. But if you do it like this, you see how they, those two players get chained together? So they don't touch each other. And you can still cast because you just get pulled against the wall. Hey Aya, what's up? How you doing? Man, I was so scared. I was like, oh my god, they're gonna release the video today and it's gonna be so much worse than Aya's video because Aya's video is so good. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. She has all of these like really cool pictures and stuff from all the things she did in her life. And then I looked at my pictures that I could send them from like in the past. And I have no pictures from myself in the past because I just played video games. <laughs> Let's take over gods. I can only send pictures from me sitting in front of my PC. <laughs> oh man. Maybe of help in acquiring so signature. <laughs> yeah, but I liked it a lot. They did a really good job with my video. Who is that? It was actually really nice. I liked it. <laughs> Are we playing this inside? Oh, we are playing it inside. Okay. Wow. Yeah, so here you do wanna... <laughs> Wait, one more thing. You know how uh, they, anu they announced the Dragonflies this year, and then Suki was like, oh my god, if there's gonna be a race over Christmas, like, it's gonna be the worst or whatever. And then they said, Imagine opening up presents in like the corner of despair and then Suki suggested to drink tequila and I was like, wait a second, that doesn't even sound that bad. <laughs> it's like, wait, presents, tequila, corner of despair with my favorite people? What the hell? That sounds like, that actually sounds pretty good. <laughs> oh shit, our tank just died. I'm running, I'm running. I'm stunning this, and then I'm gonna banish this guy. Okay, we might be good. Oh, we got some cartel boys as well. Oh my. This shade is gonna kill me. Oh no, please. <laughs> please have mercy. Oh god. We're gonna pull this patrol. It's okay though. Oh, we could have actually carried the elemental. Enjoy your stay. We could have carried the male elemental into the oasis. <laughs> yeah, right, it does sound fun. <laughs> Do you have a main class character that you would play regardless of power level? Um, no. No, I would never play a, a spec that is really horrible. Like, if you... When you say regardless of power level, then... I am assuming that I would play a class even if it's, like, really bad. But no, I would not play a class if it's really bad. That It barely ever happens that a class is like completely not viable or like really bad. But whenever it does happen, I wouldn't play that class now. But yeah, that is very rare, honestly, that that happens. It usually happens in a plus. In raiding, it doesn't happen that often that a class is just unplayable. 
But in a plus it does happen sometimes. Like right now, Moonkin is just really bad. So, so I can't really play it. The last time Moonkin was really bad was the end of BFA. And I just played Rested Druid because Rested Druid was actually really good. But this time around, Rested Druid is also not like... I think Rested Druid is fine. But it's not like the best or anything. And I hadn't really played Rest of Druid this um, expansion at all. So I figured um, there's no point. And Guardian is also not good, and Pharaoh is also not good. So not many options for Druids. Oh, I have my imp out. I was like, why can I not interrupt? Uh, Can I just summon my imp again? No, I didn't. Okay, we're good. When was Feral good? Uh, I mean... I don't think Feral is ever like OP, but I think Feral definitely was like fine some like in some patches. Because if you think about it, most classes have been have never been really OP. But a lot of classes have been viable. You are bad for business. Like when we talk about M plus, yeah. I forgot to put a gateway. Oh no, he did. Perfect. So in this boss, um, whenever he drags you into the middle, at the very end there's gonna be notes that spawn just like the intermission phases where you have to use your extra action button to get through them. Um, so you should let yourself get dragged into the middle and then the very last second you look where it is and you go out, then you refresh your buff. It's really nice. But obviously you shouldn't risk it. Because <laughs> it's not worth dying for. You will never play in this it's here. So now at the end, you see it? There they are. I mean, if you think about it, if you only think about damage dealers, the amount of damage dealers that actually have been OP in M+, plus is actually very few, I think. There is uh, Rogue for sure. Um, Mage for sure. Windwalker for sure. Hunter and Warlock now. Um... What else? It has been an age since I witnessed such a vigorous Yeah, I, I would say Munkin for sure for sure. Yeah, I would say Munkin as well. We desperately need your signature. In uh, I would probably say in Legion Munkin was was really OP. Yeah. You may have my signature. As long as you never again bring destruction to my oasis. Munkin was always I think Munkin had many and plus seasons where it was good. But not like OP. But I think in Legion it was definitely really good. Like OP. Yeah? Even. Not just good. But yeah, there was a lot of other seasons, like in BFA and in Shadowlands, where Moonkin was why why are we banishing? We don't have to banish just uh, if it's not dying, right? How do we get it back now? We coiled it so far away. Uh, are we playing over there? 
Is that like some strategy? I don't know. Oh no, we knocked it back. Okay. Guess we can try to fear it a bit over as well. Oh no, it's feared in the wrong direction, unfortunately. Shit. This shade is killing me. Helping team? Oh, this one is really far. It's annoying. Oh my god. Oof. Throw it? Throw? 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 Throw it! Throw it to me! Throw it! Throw it! Throw it! Fuck. Shit, it's okay, my pot. No oh, shit, our tank died. Maybe we can rest tank? Is he gonna reset? Frankly, that's a scary fuck. <laughs> yeah, shit, I think the new healer just needed to throw it to us. I think people are scared. Like, this boss is actually really, really hard, I think. On uh, Trenical. It's depleted now. I don't think we can do this. Uh, but yeah, the way you want to play this fight is first of all, you want to soak a lot of the zones, the ones that spawn the pools on the ground. Um, a really cool trick is to use Imp as a Warlock, because then you can dispel. Because when you soak a pool, you get a magic debuff that does a lot of damage. So you can soak a pool and then dispel it afterwards. I guess he still wants to try one time. So, but keep in mind that you can only dispel one stack as a warlock. So you just want to go into one. No one's soaking this one. See, now I soaked one. And then you can also use mass dispel as well as a priest. You can use dwarf racial as well if you're a dwarf. Oh, yeah. And then, um, when it comes to the bombs, it depends. Oh, our hunter died? Fuck. Oh, we don't have our rest. We used all the rest as already. I can put a gateway here. I'll just take this one. So yeah, when it comes to the the bombs, the very best way to deal with them is to throw it to a person. Unless it's really close, right? Like one person walks to the vent, the one that is open, and the other people just throw it to that person, and then that person that is standing there throws it in. That is usually the best way to deal with it. But obviously, when you're not done voice chat, it's hard to coordinate. Huh, <laughs> it's gone. I can still make it, though. I'll soak this one. Oh, another bomb exploded. <laughs> Yeah, you can also master spell, so if you're soaking close by, you can just master spell it afterwards. The thing with this boss, the mo like the most annoying part about this boss is the fact that the vents are so random. Like sometimes you get all the bombs on the left and then the vent is on the right and it's just really annoying. And sometimes all the bombs spawn close to the where the vent is. So it's much easier, right? 
So yeah, that's kind of annoying. Thank you, Lubufu. Thank you, thank you. Vents? Well, yeah, vents. What would you call them? Do they have a special name? I mean, Dragonflight Alpha should be coming out super early. Like, super soon. <laughs> because if they actually want to announce... I have to actually want to release the game or the expansion this year, then they have to release Alpha really, really soon. <clears throat> 28 Spires. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? Ish. Fun ish. Those. That's Caps Lock. Yeah, they said that they will release the talent trees before Alpha, and they only have released two so far. So I'm not sure if they changed their mind, and they don't want to release them anymore before Alpha, or if it's still going to take them that long. Or it's also possible that they just release all of the uh, talent trees at once, because some people have been complaining. You know, they released Druid and DK, and then some people were like, Oh my god, where's Rogue? Oh my god, where's the mage? You know, like, people were actually kind of upset that their talents didn't get posted. So maybe they got so much backlash from it that they just decided to just release everything at once now. And then they do alpha, like, afterwards? I don't know. <laughs> or only DKs and druids get talent trees? That is also a very high possibility, yes. It's possible that uh, those two classes are the only ones getting talents. Hey, Happy, what's up? Twenty-eight halls? That sounds like fun! Wait, there's a highlight reel from the last um, Charity Pro AM tournament? <laughs> Wait, let's check it out. I'm just loving it. Keep those compliments coming. Oh, no! No, that was... <laughs> 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 Lithy, it's fine. I'm just loving what? It. Uh, I've never seen this before. Coming. Oh no! No, that was. <gasps> <laughs> Lithy, it's fine. Lithy, oh. it's fine. Dude, that's insane. Living on the on <laughs> I've never seen this. <laughs> Herudra rats and wild deer. It was a team. I forgot about that. Oh, true. We played with Pet with Petco and JB. Yeah. With with Bane, yeah. Bane was only sixteen.
paired up in Shakib, and they're yep. going to be playing with uh, our good old buddy Tally. Um, mm. So, you know, they have a very un unorthodox approach to these dungeons. Uh, they don't play them at all. <laughs> so, you, they're just going to go in and they're just going to do it, you know? Go with the flow. Uh, maybe, you know, some of these mobs do things that they don't know what it is. Uh, they're just going to, you know, see how it goes. Uh, Shaq practiced healing yesterday. You know, healing some of the NPCs in Oribos, it he kept them oh my God. the whole time. So that's amazing. Oh, and, that uh, is so typical. Big, big was it? Oh, big leap out there uh, by Zevu. Good to see. Good to see. Yeah, one of our guest players there, Zevu, uh, really taking a, a a big step here, tanking. You know, tanking for the team, it's got to be a, a nerve wracking thing. Uh, coming True. In and doing we that had a these, random you know, for, tank for, for, for the us. Pro players, for the influencers as well, um, but especially for the, one of the guest players. So big props there to Zevu for, for taking the step. And so far, has looked fantastic on that Vengeance Demon Hunter. Yeah, absolutely. And seeing that little maneuver there from a. You know what's wrong about this picture? A druid doing the most damage. A moment ago where he's just absolutely uh, just jumped and spread his wings and got out of the mechanic. Reminds me of Zazu. Insane, what happened? As we all know, the bird from Lion King also spreading its wings and well, to be fair, danger. And to be fair, I only topped the damage on the boss. Overall, I almost got beaten by Bane Whir, which was the random player. <laughs> so yeah. I don't think I played the Crit Legend. Or... I don't remember. This was in May last year. I think the Crit Legendary had already been nerfed there. I don't remember. I'm not sure if I played Night Fae or if I played Venthyr. I probably played Venthyr. Yeah, I think I played Venthyr. I'm not sure. I don't remember. It's too long ago. Okay, so we're doing a 26 Gambit. Looks like we're a bit picky with who we're choosing to bring. Also, my portal isn't cool because we just depleted the streets. So someone applied to our guild and one of the questions in our form that you have to fill out is describe your knowledge of your class and how you keep yourself up to date. And someone applied a demon hunter and to this question they said, while I have only mained demon hunter since Castle Nathria, I make sure to watch at least three different anime shows every season. And I never have the raid leader's mic above 10% volume to ensure maximum blast. <laughs> and that is such a demon hunter thing to say, honestly. <laughs> Instant exception. <laughs> Bench line for him, easy call. <laughs> hmm. Most probably now in disguise. <laughs> Very likely. Man, it's hard to get invited, apparently. And people think Warlock is OP. When there's so many Warlocks that you don't get invited to any group because there's just so many of them. Then how OP is it really? Think about it.
Exactly, efficiency, exactly. <laughs> oh no, you shouldn't be worried, efficiency. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Andy, oh no. <laughs> Thanks for 11 months, Polo Pala. What's up? Well, to be fair, you can do some keys with two warlocks. Not too bad. Hey, Cassie, what's up? See so many warlocks that have this gear but don't do much damage. Like, very, very bad damage. Seriously? I really know how that's possible, honestly. Like, I do wonder what warlocks do wrong. Like, do you think they... The one thing that I can see is that they maybe play the wrong talents. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> like, maybe if they play the wrong talents, maybe they play Cataclysm or some bullshit? I guess. I don't, know, I don't know what you could do wrong. I mean, single target is a different story. If you don't do a lot of single target damage, that just happens, you know? That's your Warlock is not that good on single targets. I don't think you can do anything wrong on single target, honestly. Huh? On single target, you literally just chaos bolt. Like, there's, I don't think there's... If you play single target wrong, then I don't know. Like, there's... N there's nothing you can do wrong on single target. I mean, sure, there's things you can do wrong, but, like, very few. I think there's a lot more I can do wrong on AoE. Because some Warlocks, I think, uh, are overwhelmed by the amount of shard generation, and then they just waste a lot of shards. I think that is like probably the main reason that... There's two things that Warlocks can do wrong in M+. Number one, overcap a lot of shards, because they don't spam Rain of Fire enough. Number two, don't use Infernal on cooldown. Some people think they have to hold their Infernal for some pool, and then they waste like a, a whole usage of Infernal throughout the dungeon, or maybe even more than one. Because if you hold your Infernal, you are basically wasting um, your Legendary completely, right? Whenever you hold your Infernal, you waste your Legendary, um, and you also like waste a lot of your talents because Infernal generate shards and that's how your whole build works like it's like a like it's like a really big kind of interaction the way the Destro warlock build works and if you overcap shards or you save your infernal for no reason then everything falls apart and you lose a huge amount of damage because it all like feeds into each other you know the more infernals you have the more shards you generate the more shards you can spend the shorter you cooldown on infernalist again and so on and so on right I see you were like some corruption, Mikey. <laughs> no fucking way people use corruption. I mean, I actually had a Warlock player ask me when to use corruption. But to be fair, that's a little bit of... Like, Blizzard is honestly trolling people. Like, the fact that they brought corruption back is such a big troll for Destro. Because, come on, dude. That ability should just not be in your bars, right? Like, that ability is just gone. You will just never press that button. And some people think they have to press it because they have the, the spell, right? So it's honestly just this like, huge troll by Blizzard. I don't know. Windwalker just die. Aggro? Oh, it was supposed to be the puddle in the middle? This one?
Also, another thing why a warlock is not doing a lot of damage sometimes is that the key is just too low. Like, if the key is so low that the trash dies really fast, there's other classes that are actually just better, in my opinion. Like, other classes can do more damage if trash dies so quickly that you, that your Reign of Fire is not doing damage to the to the mobs. Because the whole, the whole reason Warlock is good is because you hit so many targets with Reign of Fire, and then it feeds into this machine, as I explained earlier, right? So things die too fast, and you pull really slowly. That's another thing. If you do really low keys, sometimes tanks pull really, like, few mobs. And that is also really bad for Warlock. The more you pull, the, mo the better it is. Especially if you pull, like, less than six mobs all the time. Because six, six is the number of mobs you need to, like, basically permanently, uh... Spam Rain of Fire. And whenever you pull less than 6, then that's just not gonna work. Not that Warlock would be really bad on less than 6 targets, but a lot worse than if it's more than 6. I'm gonna interrupt this guy. I'm gonna stun this. I think we accidentally pulled this. If we kill Ur really fast, we might be fine. I'm gonna dwarf racial this. The tank seems fine. No, we're good. I should have gotten some water. I mean, if you, if you play Warlock without tier, that's your Warlock, I mean, then uh, it's just like it's. Like, the difference between having tier and not having tier is insane, yeah? Like, it's actually such a huge deal. I'm standing in a corner because you can line up side the pulls from the mini boss. You can just walk around the corner and then you don't take the damage. Oh shit, I just took a pot. Well, that's bad. Now I cannot uh, use hindered potion thing. Oh well. I'm just not gonna get to fix it on me. That's the plan. Of course, it's in me. Hope I don't die. 
should never have come to other we get stranger. Drop your weapons or I will see them. Him. Hello, I walked into it. The fuck? Thank you, Dallas. Let us hear how loud you can scream. Wow. All contraband will be confiscated. Where's the weapon? You should oh, yeah. have come to Pazarash, stranger. And this boss always steals your weapon just when you use your cooldowns. Like every time. Return to me. Thank you, Rastic. Ah, we just ignore this. Kill boss. Unfortunately, the person that could touch it is in the cell. Hey, my pet died. A necessary tragedy. Unfortunately, we have now thrown the ire of cartel so. Man, I'm just dying in this uh, in this room. In real life, I mean. It's just so hot. And then no, I keep complaining about it. I'm sorry. I miss you so hot. Are we going right? Oh, that'd be so nice. I hate going left. I'm tyrannical. We found a stealthy boy. Oh my god. Oh, nice. Oh, we found another invis for him. Yeah, I don't have an AC. Uh, I wish I had one. That'd be so nice. <laughs> My God. The video link is not working for you, really. Working for me. About the earthen. Maybe I should use my other pets here. My imp, so I can dispel in case we had multiple debuffs. I dispel priest. Another in this point. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's 
Jeez. Then I have a feeling all of them are fixating me. Just leave me alone. See? I'm too small, I can't make it over here. Shit. I'm stuck. <laughs> Mises Oasis. The most intoxicating establishment in Tazavesh. Gaining the only Okay, I guess we kill Woe. Secure Cartel Owl's signature. Did somebody help? This place isn't Are we going in or out? Who is that? Where is Basim? Apparently we go out. Is a shade? Is it on me? Of course it's on me. I'm, I'm tanking it. Fuck it. I'm tanking it! Okay, I'm not tanking it. <laughs> I'm scared now. All goods and services for sale. Used to like a hard bargain. Good show. Oh shit. Ah! Oh no, I'm freestyled. Shit. Whoa. You know why it one shot me and it didn't one shot the hunter? Because I'm. They do melee, melee damage, like physical damage, right? Guess that makes sense. So, because I wear cloth, I'm like super squish. Okay, let's see if we can do this boss. We have bloodlust. Maybe kill this guy a bit earlier so we can kill the shade from the worker. Or the spirit or something. I'll coil it. Thank God I'm not the one getting fixated. I'm not standing in this, right? Okay. Maybe I should be the one to the throw it to next time. I could walk. I just. I could just walk to the vent and let them throw it on me. Am I dead? No, I'm fine. I hope. Okay. Oh, they're all so close, that's nice. I'm dead. I knew it. 
Where's the bomb is on me? Hmm. You can take the bomb off my back, actually. Mm. Very fun. Did you know that you can take the bomb off somebody else's back? Welcome, friend. You just need to click on them. We had to do that once because uh, somebody deceit. So we had like they were just standing there with a bomb on their backs, and then I randomly clicked at the bomb and I realized that you can take it off of them. Yeah, it's pretty nice to know, like, if someone procs a pot or something, a pot tender, yeah, it's good to know. Hi, Felipe, thank you so much for so. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I don't think we have to play the next. Or, I mean, maybe the boss is still pretty high, actually. We do have Touch of Death. It's really far away, too. Maybe we just commit. Yeah, yeah we got it. I don't use to lay us. I have uh, I'm Ban Changeling and Elegy. Sorry. A round of applause, please, for our next musical act. Oh, it's seven already. Shit. I would have died in a hierarchy there. By that hyper bolt. Uh, this, there's just two bosses in this dungeon that take so long. This boss here and then the oasis, um, the menagerie, I mean. It's so annoying that the boss takes long, because otherwise I really like streets. I think it's a good boss. A good dungeon. But two boss fights just take so long. I like the last boss. Uh, the first boss and this boss are just so annoying though. And the menagerie as well, taking forever. I like how we played the male boss perfectly, without any issues. Well, with very few issues. And in this boss we have uh, two deaths. <laughs> Do 
You don't like the last boss? I think it's cool. I think the last boss is a lot of fun. Sometimes it can be really annoying, like the RNG of it. It's not that it's fun. And next week I'm uh, going on a one-day holiday you will never play in this town again. because it's uh, we gifted it to my friend for her birthday. So like her, me, and like a bunch of girlfriends go to Lake Garda for a day. And today I noticed oh I don't have any like swimwear, so let's buy that real quick. So I went on a website to buy swim stuff. And then I realized that it is literally impossible to buy swim stuff because the sizes are all completely random. Like, <laughs> I did not understand how sizing works for any sort of like swimwear. Like, you just. <laughs> I just don't know. There was this one swimwear that had like. Numbers one, two, three, four, plus a letter. So it was like one F, two D. I was like, uh, what are you referring to here? And then I saw a different one that had also letter uh, numbers, but the numbers were like much, much higher. They were like 100, 100 F. And I was like, what is 100? <laughs> like, like, what are the numbers for? <laughs> And I looked at a sizing guide, but that sizing guide didn't help me at all. It was just like some random sizing guide for... Like in case it's like SML, and then it like changed it into European sizes, but that didn't... explain... these completely random numbers... <laughs> attached to the swimwear. The boss not close enough. Fuck, the boss needs to be closer! I think the healer cannot heal a tank right now. Right. What is this guy doing? Oh, now he find. Now he finally found me. He was trying to use quell strike on me and it didn't work. Take no more clothes and just drink like an adult. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Probably <it>. smilers. <laughs> Probably. It's Omni CD that is shows, showing the seduce. But yeah, anyway, so what I ended up doing is I ordered a bunch of different sizes. And like all kinds of different sizes. Like different sizes, different letters, different numbers. And I'm sure one of it is gonna fit, I hope. Or that's the idea at least. I just really hope it's gonna work out. Otherwise, um, otherwise I'll just, um, I don't know. Maybe there's a beach where you can lie naked somewhere. Probably not. Cause it's not a, it's not a beach, it's a lake. <laughs> That's probably not allowed anywhere. 
Not that I would do it even if it was allowed. <laughs> now for the item you have all been awaiting. The allegedly demon curse. Buy shorts and use them with normal underwear. That works. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Maybe. Do I hear five thousand? I hear five, six thousand. Yes, six. Karzai has a profitable venture. Hopefully, this inclines them to aid our own. And yeah, then I tried to Google the sizes because it was an Italian website. So I was trying to Google like Italian sizes for like underwear, uh, bras rather. And then apparently the way Italy does bra size is that they just use like one, two, three, four. And wait, it starts with zero, I think. So zero, one, two, three, four. And it just refers to the size of, of the bra, but it just increases because in case you guys don't know how bras work, there's usually two different sizes. One is for the actual like cup size and the other one is for like your like the like the what's it called? Like the, the radius <laughs> of your just like chest, you know? Cause there's some women who are like very, very tiny, but they have like big boobs. And the other way around. Some women are like bigger, but they have like small boobs, right? Um, so usually you have those two sizes separately, so you can pick and choose whatever you need, right? Make sense? Um, but apparently Italy doesn't do that. So they just have sizes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1 is basically skinny plus small boobs, and then 2 is like slightly less skinny plus slightly larger boobs, and then 3 is like middle plus much larger boobs, you know, and it just keeps going up and there's just no way <laughs> to get a bra if you are skinny and have big boobs or if you're like bigger and have small boobs like that's just not possible apparently <laughs> I was like, huh <laughs> Interesting <laughs> That makes no sense Apparently there are some stores who started um, doing it differently but it's still like very few stores that actually have proper sizes it's really messed up oh the youtube video is up nice i'll post it in a sec after this key remind me <laughs> so in Italy you have to align your diet with your breast size. <laughs> oh my god, can you imagine? It's just like a woman and she's born with really big boobs. But uh, she's kinda skinny. So she so she's just like, well I guess I'm gonna have to gain a bunch of weight. <laughs> To make sure the brass fit. <laughs> oh man. hit me yikes I hate this boss
<laughs> hey, Bunsen, what's up? How are you? That's super sense even if they're plain colors. Yeah, that as well. And Brad, I don't know, like, even outside of Italy, I've never actually seen a bra uh, size where I just, like, picked the first one and I was like, yes, this is it, you know? <laughs> it's just like every single bra is somehow different. Some bras you have a complete different size than on the other one. But that's why, that's why I'm still wearing bras that I literally bought 10 years ago. Like, I'm not even joking. I only have three different bras that I wear. I mean, I have more than three, I just don't wear the other ones. <laughs> I have three different ones, and I will only wear them, and nothing else. Because I tried to buy different ones, and they just were all just bad. And it's just such a pain in the ass to buy, to buy bras. <laughs> it's the worst. So just wear these three ones. It is what it is. Bought them ten years ago. <laughs> Excuse our intrusion, Solia. I hope we caught you at an inconvenient time. Al Dalil, is there no sanctuary from your filth? Hear me, Solir. The artifact you see. Ever considered selling one of your bras? Sure, how much? And power. They're very expensive though, because I've worn them for ten years, yeah? They're not cheap. Every sun has its center. Is my team gonna die? Okay, we get every circle has a center. That is a circle. <laughs> a tidal wave begins as a ripple. I even heard like I've I've never seen something like this, but I heard that there's like these these kind of like bra parties. Just like a Tupperware party, you know? Where you go to someone's house, and then there's like a lady who's selling bras, and she will like tell you what size of bra you need, and then she'll give you like a really nicely fitting one. I've heard of this. I need to I need to participate in one of those bra parties because <laughs> apparently most women wear ill-fitted bras. Their whole life. Maybe me too, you know, who knows? <laughs> Apparently it's a thing. That is so far away. I'm running. To remain still is to this lady is probably a dude. <laughs> He's unlocked a new kind of creeps. Oh, I'm not sure if it can get any worse. Honestly. The weirdest creep that I had recently was some person who has a hand fetish? Hands. So... So whenever my hand was visible in like a picture, he would always send me messages like, Nice hands, baby, or something. So you ha Divine hands. <laughs> Every 
I thought that was a really weird, like that was a very, that, that's probably a, like a very inconvenient fetish to have though, right? Because hands are not covered by anything, by anyone, right? So I have a feeling this is a really inconvenient fetish to have because imagine you're just running around town and there's a bunch of women that show their hands and all of a sudden you're like sexually aroused. <laughs> I have a feeling that's uh, that's just a bit unfortunate, no? So stop showing your hands. I can't. And then, and then uh, I got a message from this person once, and they asked me, "Why did you stop showing your hands in the pictures?" And obviously I didn't do it, like I didn't purposely hide my hands, it just like happened, I guess, that I didn't show my hands. And this person thought I'm doing it on purpose. They were like, why did you stop showing your hands? I was like, uh Is that why we don't see cringe cam anymore? <laughs> no. The, I don't know. Cringe cam just kind of stopped happening when I needed my camera in the kitchen. <laughs> Would fingerless gloves be like lingerie for hands fetishes? <laughs> Good point. Wirklich, Lingard? Change injury. Ich weiß nicht, ob, ob das bei uns geht hier. Das habe ich noch nie gehört. Gibt es das in Italien? Change injury. Ich könnte ja vielleicht online kaufen. Aber online kaufen ist halt immer dumm, wenn ich meine Größe nicht kenne, ne? Das ist halt schwierig dann. Ach, sie haben sogar auch Bikinis und sowas. to find them. <gasps> nice! They have like a measurement thing. Ooh, I should buy... The thing is, I'm leaving for my one-day holiday already next Tuesday. Not sure if they're gonna be delivering that quickly. If they even deliver it to Italy. Let's see. Let's check. Oh, I think they don't deliver? Or did I? Let's check. Oh no, they do! Okay, let's see. Info. Why does it say that? I think it only I think they only sent to Germany. Thank you so much for gifting your stuff to Jagger. Thank you so much to Thasnish. Uh but it doesn't say. Like, there's an FAQ, but there's no... They don't say where they deliver to. Hmm. How do I, how do I 
not answer the question anywhere. <laughs> what the hell? You know what? I'm just gonna order something. Oh no! Oh, I found it. No, I didn't find it. <laughs> hmm. I'm trying to see if this website delivers to Italy, but I can't seem to find that information anywhere. <laughs> It's in you, why not? Well, I don't know. Sometimes they don't deliver to certain areas. Well, I'll check this later. <laughs> Oops. I just randomly showed you the the website. I just checked if there was any uh, personal information, but there wasn't. <laughs> don't worry, you don't have to go back in the vault, okay? There wasn't. Oh yeah, YouTube video! Let's do that real quick. I have a new YouTube video. I'm gonna upload it real quick. Or publish it, I guess. Also, check out the liquid video if you haven't yet. That's a 30 minute video. It's not even that bad. Okay, video is here. Post in chat. Yeah, I love it, Andy. The video is great. I love it. Okay, so the video is called Our Mythic Rates Too Hard. Because we had this whole discussion oh, on Twitter oh, with uh, Asma Golden stuff. And Max and JB. So I figured I'm just going to put all my thoughts onto, into a YouTube video and uh, upload it. So if you guys want to check it out, check it out. Otherwise, don't. Do whatever you want. Sorry, just making sure I'll post on Twitter and then we go. Any good loot for Nagani? Unfortunately not. I had to take the the coins or whatever they're called. But maybe... Ooh, what if I get a Rygalon weapon from this quest here? The purpose. Rygalon weapon? Oh, that is not a Rygalon weapon. <laughs> Thank you so much for giving us up to nice hands, girl. <laughs> oh, man. What about you? Did you get any good vault? Loot. <laughs> there's gonna be drama in the YouTube chat. Oh, there's always drama in the YouTube chat. That's fine. That's just always gonna be how it is, you know?
Thanks for joining too, Doxy. What's up? How are you? <laughs> All right, bear back one second, guys. Oh, you have a new thing, my ghost. The sub gifter badge. It's so pretty. Look at it. Hey, Frank, what's up? Unless you upload a video where you state you got boosted in PvP, I'm sure that'd be well received. <laughs> oh man, people still have not forgotten about that whole boosting thing. Just like a, a week ago or so, or a few weeks ago, I was uh, I joined this um, German streamers um, and plus group. And I said it was a streamer, so like I, I opened his stream and he had like 50 viewers or something, like he wasn't like a big streamer or anything. Um, and then <laughs> he goes, oh, Nagura, Nagura, I know that name from somewhere, Nagura. And I was like thinking, and I was like, oh, it's, it's that woman that got boosted. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, seriously? <laughs> I did so many things in my life. <laughs> So many! And that's what you're, what you're gonna remember? <laughs> Seriously! The one time I got boosted in PvP, you're gonna remember that? Okay, fine, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, first trader, I'm the eye caster. It's like, you know, got boosted in PvP. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> The woman who gets boosted and, has, and hides her hands. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, bear back one second, and then we're gonna get, the, gonna get boosted through another key. <laughs> one sec. Need some water. Oh my god, it's so hot. I'm dying.
My stream deck's not working. Need to restart the program, I think. All right, let's do one more cube. I really want to do halls. Hey, D, what's up? Do I have to be the Venthyr? Watch the bot of you, JB Max and Asman, as well as your TL highlight reel. Lots of awesome content. Nice. I'm glad you watched it and you liked it. Yeah. I have to start doing content again. I've been, uh, I've been uh, slacking a bit. But don't worry. We're going to get back. Uploaded a YouTube video today. Insane, right? Soon I'm going to do season four, guys. And apparently Dragonflight is coming out this year, so... We might be covered, as long as it's not over Christmas. Fuck that. I can't believe I had to sit through and edit that entire talk, by the way. I had to hear some of the wildest takes. <laughs> yeah, I wonder from whom. <laughs> to be fair, JV has like the weirdest takes, but at least he understands that He's probably the only one that thinks this way. <laughs> but that's something, I guess. He's aware. I have no insider info on Alpha at all. I know nothing. But even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. So do I know now or do I not? Who knows? No, I actually don't. <laughs> oh, he plays them there. Nice. Huge. He tweets have the ability to make everyone forget what sarcastic humor is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was obviously joking with the tweets. I mean It's it's not that uh like I think there's totally a possibility that they're gonna push the date, right? But at the same time the tweet was very much a joke. But some people get very offended by it. What's the best way to find a group on PTR for M plus testing? It's very difficult to find groups on M plus uh, on PTR. I did some keys on PTR lately, and I had to ask viewers to to join, to log on PTR and play with me, because there was just no one there. No one really wants to test a PTR at the moment, I guess. Thank you so much for gifting us out to Mystery Anonymous. Thank you. <laughs> it's kind of obvious they just want to pre-order sales for this fiscal year. That's all. Yeah, but that makes no sense. Because... Okay, the reason why that makes no sense is because... The pre-orders would still be this year, even if the game would release next year. Right? Like, even if the game releases in January or in February, that doesn't mean that the people wouldn't pre-order it this year. Like, I don't think that logic checks out. Shit, we got sins, and now I'm gonna die to this. Oh, nice. Because... The definition of a pre-order is that you ordered before it comes out. So if they would only want to boost pre-order sales, then it literally doesn't matter if it's released this year or not. Right?
They're taking full payments now, but I would assume a chunk of people pre-order and then a different chunk buy on launch. Yeah, but then it's fine, no? Then they would actually release it this year. Like, if you're saying they just want to boost sales this year because people buy it on launch, that, that would imply that it actually launches this year and then there is no issue, right? You could argue it's not earned this year if it doesn't release. That's not how things work. Wow. It's always about... Like when the invoice is being made. And not about when the action is being delivered. That's how it works. In... As far as I'm aware, in almost every country. Like, if I sell a product... ...and you pay for the product... ...then it doesn't matter if you actually receive the product this year or not. For, for accounting reasons. The, the receiving of the of the actual thing is not relevant. It's about when you're when the invoice is being sent and when it's being paid. It's the only thing that matters. I'm stuck. Uh, I don't know what that is, genuine. Thanks for the 52 months, Skyfire. What's up? Good afternoon. Should maybe go now because we didn't to see the patrol. You can go to the left. Oh, we shipped it on the left now. Okay, nice. Oh, we can only spell one. I guess I dwarfed this. Don't have a door for this though. Yeah, nice. We're not gonna get her. Something is gonna die, and it's not gonna be her. Oh no, we actually got her. Oh my god, insane! Actually insane. Oh no, the priest is gonna one shot by that shade. Unfortunate. Uh, 
Yes, I definitely do conflict air sometimes, but conflict is so little damage. I feel like, <laughs> like sometimes I even chaos bolt air, and it still doesn't die first. <laughs> I remember this one time I chaos bolted Ur twice. I chaos bolted it two times and it still did not die first. And when that happened, I was like, okay, fuck this. Like, <laughs> fuck it. I'm just, I'm just gonna read a fire. Whatever dies, dies. <laughs> but yeah, as a warlock, it kind of, it really sucks to focus Ur, like with a proper spell. Because Conflict does so little damage, and you really don't want to Chaos Bolt, right? Like, that's just such a big damage loss to Chaos Bolt. If on an AoE pull. If it's a boss pull, then you can definitely Chaos Bolt it. But yeah, if you pull like 50 mobs and then you need to Chaos Bolt an Ur, that is uh, for sure one of the worst kind of things you can do. I sometimes still do it when I really feel like there's nobody focusing it. <laughs> Thanks for 30 months, Autoshot, what's up? Um, I'm still gonna play Druid in Dragonflight, um, but I would love to also check out Evoker as well, because I like playing range DPS and I like healing, and that's exactly the specs that the evoker is, so... I'll for sure check it out on beta and see if I like it. We're pulling this, okay. Oh wait, I'm tanking this. It's okay, I'm a good I'm a big tank. I think. Okay. Okay, we're good. It turned, oh my god. It turned and I didn't die. Insane. I'm good for Saru. How have you been? I did some big keys with the... Um, oh shit. Nice grip. Can you dwarf racial that fear? Because I, I tried to dwarf racialing, but it didn't work. I guess you can't because you're a seed. See you later, 2000 ish. Yeah, we've had only good vibes today. I timed a 30 key. 
I timed my very first 30 key of the season today. That was cool. Unfortunately, I also depleted 28 Sanguine Depths because I died to a wicked charge. That spell just does so much damage. That oh my thanks for the heal. Oh my god, it turned as well. Like I'm just like taking a bath in this. <laughs> Alright, thank god. We did it. Uh I just couldn't I just um used my infernal, so I will not have it on pull of the boss. But I was scared that we we're gonna wipe here at the very end. <laughs> I just uh, used it. Actually, I might still have it because Warlock's up here. And I spent a lot of rain of fires. Yeah, I'll have it. Let's see if our warlock can take the, the boy. Looks like it, nice. Clickbait thumbnail? Oh, because of the Asphagol tweet. I mean, yeah, it's not even clickbait, right? Because the whole reason why we talked about it was because of uh, the Asphagol tweet, kind of. So it's actually relevant, you know? I'm gonna drop this guy. I'm just gonna dwarf racial this because we have a curse speller. So I'm allowed to do that. Uh, so there, there is a placeholder date, which is the 31st of December. It, it doesn't mean that the game is going to come out on the 31st. But they did say 31st or before. And that is not a placeholder. Right? If they say that... Like, that specific wording implies that it is going to come out this year. But yeah, the 31st, that does not mean anything. In fact, it's unlikely that it comes out on the 31st. Like, very unlikely. They're not going to release a game on New Year's Eve, right? <laughs> but yeah, it implies that it's going to come out this year, um, probably before... If it's gonna come out in December, then it would be early December. Probably. But it also could only come out in November, right? It's like... It's also possible, technically, with the way they worded it.
think they died at a good time. They should be able to get cleared next time with the next sleep. Oh, we don't have an out-of-combat raster, actually. We can summon. We should probably summon. Make sure we still have some resists. Okay, I guess we're not summoning. Oh shit, <laughs> someone's thanking her. We pulled off so fast. I like it. I'm inferling. Because we just killed her. It's really bad, but I'm doing it anyway. Yeah, that infernal was slightly troll, honestly. I, I will admit. Nice, that Solrot hit the prisoner as well. The parishioner. What is this ad called? I don't know what it's called. You know what I mean, the ghost. Parishioner, there we go. I'll just pop this. Yeah, same as Resurfeed. Same. Man, that reminds me when... When I... <laughs> when you cast him, yeah, you're supposed to say the names of things. Or at least we, they wanted us to do that at the start. Like at the start when we, when MDI kind of started, they wanted us to, to use the proper names of bosses and proper names and everything. But then it turned out that people just got really confused because no one knew the names of certain things. So when we called them with their real name, they didn't know what we were talking about. <laughs> like for example, when we had the Awakened mobs, the Awakened Affix, where you had the portals and stuff. There were four mini-bosses, right? 
Uh, or same with Tormented as well. The Tormented bosses, like Varuth and Sogodon and stuff. And some of those boss names were just like... Like, especially at the start. People just didn't know what they were called. It was just like the... The tank guy, the fire guy. The heal reduction guy, you know. And the same was with the Awakened mobs. We just called them the spider, but the spider mob, and the tentacle mob, and you know, the blob. Thank you, Gear Hat. Yeah, and the spells as well. They wanted us to use spell names and stuff too. So eventually we stopped using spell names and also certain boss names. Like, I feel like it's pretty late into the expansion and we've been playing these same dungeons for a long time. So a lot of people do know boss names, but not all of them, right? Because certain boss names, you just say first boss, second boss. And then I did, uh, I casted the MDI on the German language channel once and they wanted us, to, wanted us to use German names for everything when I didn't even know the English names for everything. <laughs> that was uh, definitely uh, something. Should probably interrupt the boss and get him back here. There's some muffs in the in the back. One more neutral. This time I'll actually save my Infernal, because this map dies really fast. Yeah, exactly, Silver back, yeah. <laughs> there are some boss names, I guess, that are pretty memorable, but most of them are just kind of like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, Highlander. YouTube videos A plus really boomerang nice. I'm glad you like it. I definitely didn't want to talk for that long because the video ended up being really long. I didn't want to talk for that long, but then I just ended up talking forever. I'm sorry about that. I was rambling again. Typical, I guess. I guess the good thing about certain YouTube videos where I'm just talking, it's okay if I ramble, I guess, because people just kind of use it to, like, listen. It's like, you don't have to actively watch when you listen to one of those videos, right? You can just listen to it, use it as kind of like a podcast or something similar. So, I guess it's not too bad. Because you can do something else while listening. Out of my way. Your pride undoes you. Pitiful wretches. I really like this song.
Nice PI, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. You have not earned your pride. You are beneath my contempt. Behold the might of the bent there. Out of my way. Not earned your pride. I am losing my patience. <laughs> I am losing my patience. Behold the might of the bent there. Your pride on. Team Li Li Liquid Podcast? That would be a lot of fun, actually. The thing usually is, and I'm not sure if it, this is exactly true with uh, Team Liquid, but generally speaking, peep, like players that are not content creators, but like professional players, professional like, esports players, they're usually kind of not very willing to do stuff for content very much unless it's fun for them unless it's like a competition or something you know i remember talking to johnny about this where he had all of these cool ideas uh that the players could do for content and there's like uh <laughs> unless it was like a competition where they had to do something like against another player or they had to do something with like handicaps <laughs> but just sitting there and having a podcast, that is something that people don't necessarily love doing. <laughs> In a large cast bar, it's just my target cast bar. I just moved it up and made it bigger. Gearing Andy Boom. <laughs> Who the hell is Andy Boom? What character is that? Like we guild podcast and girl, I'm fired up and should keep talking about this week's issues. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that actually sounds like a perfect podcast. This mic here? Oh, it's Spires. Man, do we want to do halls again? No. I want to do a mist, I think. Or something like that. 22 DOS. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, it's his vengeance, Demon Hunter. Huh?
Pyro and other girls were bullying him time. What? I would never bully Fired Up. What do you mean? I gifted him a blanket. I'm the blanket lady. I have many, many wares. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't... Like, uh, I think trying out podcasts would be kind of cool. I think I would like doing podcasts. Sometimes I like to just sit down and talk about things. But I would definitely need to... Like, it would obviously require a lot of effort. I would have to figure out people to talk to. And also... Like, you just need guests. If I'm gonna do a podcast by myself, you would need... Like, I would need guests that I talk to all the time, right? Because a podcast where I'm doing only one speaking is kind of... Like, that's just dumb. <laughs> I guess. So, I would need to find, like, guests that I can speak to every week, which can be very hard. That's why I think Titan Forge and whatever are doing a really good job, but they also have multiple people just as baseline. So sometimes if they don't have any guests, they can still do a podcast and just talk to, like, themselves, right? Because they're, like, two, three people anyway. They've asked me to join Titan Forge before, but it's really late because it's NA times. It's always really, really late for me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, watch out, Joe Rogan. Yeah. You better watch out. The Nagura experience is coming to Spotify. Yeah, it might be better to be a bi-weekly podcast because every week is hard, especially when there's like down... Because WoW is such a weird thing to talk about because sometimes when there's new expansions coming out or a new patch, there's so much to talk about. And then other times where there's a content drop, there's like nothing to talk about. Kill well, right? I'm sure they're hunted at. I'm gonna case bolt this well to make sure we get it. We got ba Wait, seriously! I chaos bolted! Whoa! <laughs> I lit wait, that hit me, eh? How did that hit me but not stun me? Did you see that? Usually when you get hit by Vi, it um, it stuns you. But this only did damage to me, it didn't stun me. I guess it's because maybe the stun has an elevation, but the damage has not. That would make sense, I guess. Okay, so I guess we slowly walk to a car. We can just play this relic pack and then go a car. Okay, I chaos bolted it again. We got it this time, nice. We're doing it, we're doing it. Hello, where are my shards? I'm not generating any shards, what the fuck? Don't you be taking no for an answer. 
Okay, looking good. Thank you, Rain of Metal. Thank you, thank you. No ears are lower, you might remember. Always be needing mojo for these rituals. And one time they always be willing to make a deal. Well, what you give me that look for? Oh no. I think we have to rest here. Actually, you could have released. Because uh, we still had woe. So it would have been better to release. But I didn't think about that. Because the uh, woe persists through death. Realize we have an unholy BK, huh? Let's go. This song is cute. Never heard this one before. No, we don't have info on when season 4 will start. I assume it starts between like one month and two months. Why did my pet die? What the hell? Oh my god, we didn't actually met. We need to nuke that shield a bit more. Because that first shield is usually the easiest and we still didn't really manage. This time I don't have damage for this shield. I guess we lost at 40? I'm gonna hold my infernal for it. Oh, we lost it now. Okay. And then I'm not holding anything. To get that at closer. Nice. We're gonna get one more shield and then we're good, I guess. to make sure we kill the boss here before the shield nice hey hockey what's up how are you you're my nasty one but you'll be making him pay him debt sooner or later you're gonna be back you can't keep our bad lord down We got a sun? How did that happen? Watch the pool, there's gonna be a huge pool now. 
fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna drop this guy. If you, this wave! Oh, nice. Oof. I thought that wave was gonna go through the healing wave. I'll stun this. Healing wave, fuck. Oh, that's okay, I guess. We can just drag it into the next pack, maybe. That attacks her. Sun again somehow? Watch the pool, it's gonna spawn. Spiteful is actually just so good for Warlock. Because you keep resetting your Infernal, because you can just keep casting uh, Rain of Fires. Love it. But yeah, Necrotic, I, I don't envy the tanks. I guess at least you can be a dwarf nowadays. I'm just gonna stand first, I guess. I hope I'm gonna be saved. Nice. Oh, Necrotic is 100% not a healer affix. There's not much a healer can do if you're immune to healing. Necrotic is the one time where healers actually have an excuse. It's like, oh, couldn't heal you. It means healing. Wow. I guess Earth's fine here. I guess we can just kill Woe. Let me do the, the Arf Arf pack, I guess. I really shit that pack that fast. I guess it is a 22 key and tyrannical. Maybe I should have served in, saved Infernal actually. Nah. Nah, that's troll. You know, it don't just be troll to be coming to ask for old one zombie's help. All kinds of making deals with the lower adept. Like these two crazy little gnomes here. They both be hungry for power. So we were more than happy to oblige. <laughs> but now, um, maybe needing that mojo back. Oh, we pulled. Uh... Uh, I mean, I guess we can play this somehow.
make sure we kill Whoa. I didn't even know that these are not connected. Cause we just killed we just pulled one headless client plus the RF RF and somehow somehow that worked. I know that the relics are not like perfectly connected. Wait, the chronic is 100% of the tanks. Why you say <laughs> I'm confused? Oh no! Frankly, that's a skill issue. I was so fast. Fuck! How do we get back now? Can you master me from here? Master us? <laughs> I can't. Perfect. Oh, well, thank the Lord. Well, I guess we have to pull those now, though. That's a bit unfortunate. I'll just infernal them, fuck it. No, it's my bad. Fuck, I was so fast because of the woe buff. I wanted to just take one step forward. And I was so fast, I just fucking walked into it. <laughs> Unfortunate. But yeah, Necronic is, is attack ethics. That is 100% attack ethics. And I don't know what anyone would say otherwise. Like if you're the tank, you need to make sure that you drop your necrotic stacks. Because obviously you're unhealable otherwise, and... Like, what's the healer gonna do, or what is the damage healer gonna do? If you're unhealable, and you're just dying. Like, I'm not sure... I'm not sure how... It is anyone's ethics other than the tank. I guess, some, like, you can argue that uh, others can help you reset the stacks, but that's pretty obvious, right? Like, that's that doesn't make it not a tank affix, though. It's like saying Grievous is a damage dealer affix because you can use a health pot, you know? Yeah, but if the healers get blamed for necrotic, well, then the people that are blaming the healer are just stupid. And then there's not much to say. Sometimes people are just stupid, you know? Just say you're stupid. <laughs> That's it, you know? <laughs> yeah, everyone's... Like, obviously, it's always a, a group thing. Like, every single affix... Um, it's not a single person's responsibility. Everyone can always help. But Necrotic is almost exclusively the tank's responsibility. The other people can just help the tank reset. But they cannot make him reset. Like, for example, if I have a slow and I have an AoE stun, I can stun the mobs and slow the mobs, but if the tank doesn't run away from them, then uh, he doesn't reset the sex and he's gonna die, you know? <laughs> There's only so much he can do. Because <laughs> he's the one that has the sex on him. <laughs> so yeah, what, what are you gonna do against it? <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? Oh my... Uh, 
Um, this beam is going through? Oh! I mean, even leap of faith is not gonna help. If you if you grip the tank away, the tank walks straight back into it. Then it's probably also not gonna. The only thing I guess you can do is like bop, because if you bop someone, then you forcefully reset the stacks, right? But then you might kill the damage dealers if the tank doesn't immediately remove it. So. You can use you can use the Kyrian vial on someone else, I guess, as a Kyrian. I can totally see that scenario playing out exactly that way. <laughs> it's also really obvious. Like, I, I personally also think that Sanguine is mainly a tank ethics. Not as much as, um... As Necrotic is. Like, Necrotic, in my opinion, is like 95% tank ethics. Approximately. But I think Sanguine is also mostly a tank ethics. I would say like 50% tank ethics. Maybe 60%. Because of course people can help you out with Nox and whatever, but in the end you have to move the mobs and not many things can help you. People can taunt the mob out for you. People can stun Vortex like... People can for sure help, but yeah, in the end, it's not... In the end, they're... they're th like, the things they can do is limited. A lot of affixes are tank affixes, I guess. But those two are like the most, I guess. It's not really like spiteful, it's not really a tank affix, right? I mean, if anything, it's the opposite of a tank affix because tanks don't usually die to them. Well, everyone else does. It's partially a tank affix in a sense that when there's a lot of spitefuls, then a tank can kite the mobs away. That are still alive, right? So it can help, but yeah. Thanks for Prime stuff, Andrel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome. Okay, I'm popping off. I hope. Looks like someone else is doing a lot of damage to you. Dude, those mobs are dying way too fast. Who else is popping off? Don't worry, I'm gonna pop off on the shades. <laughs> These shades... They're just gonna die so fast. Don't worry guys, I got, you co I got it covered, yeah? I got it.
I'm so glad I just didn't get a one shot. Oof. I already saw my life flash before my eyes. Oh, we pulled the hatchlings, I guess. That's not very good. But that died. I will stun. Wait, I'm gonna wait until they're all here. I'll stun now. I tanked that. I'm dead for sure. I'm gonna put the thing here. Oh, he got the aggro back. Oh my god. Dude, I cannot believe he got the aggro back. Kill Urfas? Maybe? I put the gate here? We kill Ur? No, Ur is still super high. If we kill Ur, we can maybe recover, because then a tank can... Uh... He needs to reset Necrotic. There we go. He reset it. Let's send those things in the back. Okay, we're fine. I think. I'm fine. I don't know if the tank's fine. <laughs> Put a gateway somewhere, so... Oh, nice. We got Ur now. I hear a helicopter. What happened? Hatching, hatching, hatching. Fuck. Do we not have any stuns? I tried to coil it, but I was too far away. We don't have a rest. Oh shit, and we didn't kill the mobs here. <laughs> don't worry, I'll kite it. Okay, I don't think I can catch this. <laughs> Shit. Frankly, that's a skill issue. I can still do it. Mm -hmm. Oh god, I don't have soul shape for this. Uh... Can't look here, oh my god. I'm dead. <laughs> my my feet are too tiny to dodge this. Hello? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Melee classes are easy to play. I mean... 
Survival Hunter? Wow. Survival Hunter, I guess Steven Hunter? I don't really play melee myself, so... I don't really have an insight on which ones are like the easiest ones. But yeah, I think Survival Hunter is pretty easy-ish. Uh, I don't think Survival is super easy because mainly because of like survivability stuff. But um, if you play content where survivability is not even that uh, big of an issue, then I would say survival, yeah. Because survival is really good in, in all content right now. And at the same time, um, they're also pretty mobile uh, as well. They have lots of range on everything. Um, the only thing that's a bit annoying is pet control. Pet control can be really annoying. And yeah, survivability can sometimes be an issue, but if you don't do super high keys or you don't do like mythic rating or whatever, then it's probably not that big of a deal. Oh shit. Are we fine? I don't necessarily want to take the debuff just because um, I have a bomb debuff. But I can take it if uh, the melee cannot juggle it anymore. I got a bomb again. Oh shit! <gasps> I was too late! No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Did he not go up too early? Oh, no, I didn't. I have lots of defensive still. You can just give me the bomb. And by lots, I mean I have dark pact. <laughs> Which to be fair is lots. I'll give it to the tank. Our healer zoom. So we're gonna have to kill this boss quick. Oh, our healer is dead. Mm, we can probably kill it. The tank doesn't die. I should take the Steva. Oh, the hunter got it. I think he's dead. The tank can take it one more time, and then I take it. Oh, is he alive? Oh no, he's not alive. I'm not sure if I'm alive. Okay, I'm alive. Please die. I'm gonna die to this up now. 
Okay. <laughs> My back, guys, sorry. Wait. <laughs> Hang on, man. She gives life, but she also takes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Half a toe in the circle. Oh, yeah. You know it. Alright, let's do it. I'll just dwarf this first, Eva. Shit, our tank took two of those devos. <laughs> See, fine. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to infer. I, I keep forgetting about this. On this boss, uh, Blasphemy is bugged, and you have to rain a fire instead of Chaos Bolt to proc it. So weird. Druid talent tree looks really good for Shadow Lands. I like it. I, I think it looks really good. My pet is not attacking again, as per usual. I'm gonna summon an imp. Fuck it. Maybe my imp is attacking. You can't be holding me forever. <laughs> Don't you be counting me out yet, old Lua. Oh man, I have so much haste! I think we can, maybe, possibly. Okay, um, maybe split four. Last totems? Do we have to do a split four? I think we have to. Three minutes? I'm not sure if we can do a double split. We could maybe if everyone... Well, I guess it's too late now though, because people probably use their cooldowns now. 
If, if we need to do a split four, then... Yeah, I'm not even, I don't even know if split four is better, honestly. I'm, like, I, don't, I don't know how fast split four even is. Might not even be that fast. Let's just do a split two and see if it works. The best hurry. The price don't matter now. Foolish mortals. Me be the true god of death. We, have, we can just last now. Yeah, we wouldn't actually have last either for this phase. Oh, we went wrong? Did we not kill any? No, we killed two. That's fine. That's fine though. We killed two. Maybe this DK soloed it. It's fine. The DK soloed. I'm not sure if we can do that in one minute though. Probably not. Nah, one minute is not enough, I don't think. I think the only chance would have been if we soloed all of the totems. Like, uh, in one round. But that is uh, really hard. <laughs> It's okay, we tried. The best hurry. The price don't matter now. Foolish mortals. Me be the true god of death. Hmm, are you Lars in here? Are you soul rot? I mean, unless I want to keep the key, I guess. I don't know about that. Do we have enough damage for this? I have nothing. <laughs> I don't have anything. <laughs> no, this is not happening. Touch it. <laughs> I mean, it's not that we, we wouldn't have timed it anyway, right? But um, but now it's playing out of face. What matters is that we had fun. That is exactly what matters. Darkness be mine to come out. Darkness be mine to come out. Your life be mine. The shadows take ya. I also really like how we put the debuffs in like the most random positions every time. <laughs> it's perfect. Which one is still up? Oh, it's the front left, right? Wait, it's not here? It is 
is literally in the opposite side. I'm not even gonna walk there. There's no fucking way I'll make it. <laughs> I honestly didn't even look. I just assumed it's front right, uh, front left because that's the one we didn't kill. Because that's where the tank and I use went. And we didn't kill it last time, right? But I guess the boss moved to the other platform. <sighs> I mean, at this point, can we just kill the boss without killing the totem? <laughs> Who needs to kill the totems? Just kill the boss, I mean... 23 million? Okay, I didn't check again, but I'm sure you guys know. Isn't it over there? Yeah, that was wrong. <laughs> it is uh, top right. <laughs> I actually saw it this time. I was like, it's kind of top right, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I don't think we can kill it this time. <laughs> Did anyone else walk? Oh, uh, they're too slow. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, so in case... People don't know how to check. You can see where the totem is up, right? Let me show you real quick. So you see how... You can see the platforms here, right? Oh, am I dead? I'm good. And the, you see now, the totems that are still up, the ones that are still there, they're the ones that uh, still have to be killed. Right. So now it's here. And the closer ones are the ones in the back. The close platform. The far platform is the one in the front. So if you need to go front, far right, then you go front right. And if you need to go close right, you, get, you go back right. So this time it is back right. Because the totem is here. Okay, we can do it guys, we can do it. I totally believe in this. Huge. Averaging less than one totem per face. <laughs> you know it, you know it. At this point, we really could have just killed the boss without killing the actual totem. Gonna boss is that. The chest spawns here. Here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Wait, three, three people got rating. Let's go. We got rating anyway, guys. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> First try, yeah? <laughs> 
Dude, I just checked the YouTube comments of my announcement video again, and someone says, she bought Glad in Shadowlands, El Mao. <laughs> First of all, didn't buy Gladiator. I don't have Gladiator. I just bought the weapons. She likes competition, except when it comes to PvP. She likes getting carried, El Mao. Glad someone else noticed. <laughs> These comments are so fake. They're legit removing all the criticism there is. <laughs> oh, man. Man, imagine deleting hateful comments. Wow. That means only the fake ones are left. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. Um, I, um, I, I think this week is fine for pushing. It's not great. But it's okay, for sure. Like, you can do high keys, for sure. It's not as easy as some other weeks, but yeah, it's fine. All right, guys, I'm going to be gone for today. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, I hope you checked out the Liquid announcement video. It's on their Twitter and also on their YouTube. On the Liquid Guild Twitter and Liquid Guild YouTube. If you want to check it out, it's a really cool video. Uh, of course, linked it in the chat. And then I also uploaded my own YouTube video today about um, mythic tuning, mythic rate tuning. And like my ideas kind of, you know, what they should be doing, maybe, possibly. So check that out if you care. It's, it's a pretty long video. So if you play video games and want to watch it on your second monitor or something, then that would be the greatest way to listen to it, I think. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Remember to follow my stream if you haven't yet. Check out my socials and stuff. Let's go ahead and host somebody. Let's see, um, who are we going to watch? Let's watch Mike. Unless, wait, before host Mike. Let me check something. Aya isn't streaming right now. It might be too early for Aya. If she's streaming at all today. Okay, let's host Mike. I forgot to comment on your YouTube video that you got access to Classic Alpha even though you never played on private server. Be right back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it will hold me over until you start the Team Liquid podcast. <laughs> Cassie's currently webbing on Jailer? Really? Oh shit, we should watch Cassie then. It's too late though, I already started the, the, the read. But if anyone wants to head over to Cassie's stream... What's Mike even um, doing? This higher item also you can. This double two eighty five. Oh, he's raiding. Okay. Crazy. Wait, oh, he's and actually he, playing he, his he, Moonkin. Perfect. At least somebody is representing this spec. Need to swap. Uh, uh, no, I'm not using Bartender. I'm using oh, an item called Sar Mutz. This looks like this. Fuck it, Nogi, you're the only one. One bar. We know it, don't worry. <laughs> no, no, anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.
don't have a... That's a fair trade. Don't bang. Mm. 